Welcome to the Pat Mayo Experience, Week 17 Spread Picks presented by DraftKings. All odds and totals coming from DraftKingsSportsbook.com. Play on DraftKings, okay? Remember to smash the like button to the episode, time code it in the bottom, and if you are listening to the audio podcast of this show, please, as a New Year's gift to the Pat Mayo Experience and Mayo Media Network family. Please rate and review five stars on Apple Podcasts. See, they've been tailing off lately. If you have never done it, take the five seconds, please. Help us out. That's how people discover the show, and who wouldn't want more people accessing our terrible picks? Jeff Feinberg is in studio with me. Since we last spoke, you signed up for the Fantasy Golf Championship. Yes. Everyone can do that right now. FantasyGolfChampionships.com. It's $100 to play for the entire year, so it's like $350 a week. Uh, and you can play against me, you can play against Jeff, and you can play against Tim Andergust. Tim Andergust. That is not my name, but you can't play against me, that's for sure. So do you, th- and against all of the other experts in the space, well, quote unquote experts, I'm no expert. I was gonna say, I, I, I'm not an expert at all. You beat I me. I just happen to get lucky. I think you do better than I do every year in this contest. Because I take it simply. I say, who's a star? Course history is king. So who is the best star at this place that I can grab? And then I take them. And if you spend more than two minutes thinking about it, uh, it's analysis paralysis. I think I'm going to release a one and done strategy video, a very quick one. I think people will pick enjoy winners. Oh, yeah, pick winners. Um, if you don't give a shit about golf, but you want to you know, get in on the action, who doesn't want to be on the action? You pick one golfer a week. It literally takes like three minutes. So thirty thousand dollars to first place. So you might as well go sign up right now. FantasyGolfChampionships.com. If you want to check out our golf shows, we already have two out. We did the fantasy draft for mm. the year. Me and you and a collection of five other people. That's up on Mayo Media network right now the youtube channel if you have not subscribed to the youtube channel please for the love of god do it we're only 1500 away from 20,000 subscribers not bad for the first four months i hope we can get there very much doubt it what else do we got going on here Cust- a very custy christmas very popular episode this year for sure Almost 30,000. I think it's got to do with the SEO. Maybe. You know what? That Tim, you are right yeah. about the SEO. Cuss Corner XXX looking good right now, but the downloads for it were off the charts. One of the most downloaded shows of the year. We will have Best of Cuss Corner. So all the mini Cuss Corners we've done throughout football season, parts one and part two, will be coming out uh, on the audio feed and on the video feed very soon, uh, in case you need something to do if you're stuck at home, that kind of thing. What else do we got going on here? Best of the Pat Mayo Experience. 2020 i'm working on that right now that might not appear for another few weeks it's hard to put together i don't want to just throw every clip that i have into it and it's like eight hours long i want to kind of walk walk through them and try to actually come up with the best ones so thank you to everyone who's time coded the show as the year's gone along cutting those clips really actually made it so much easier for me shout out to matt best on that one too and i think that's everything i highly recommend did you watch the cuss corner on christmas yes my Aaron wife is, even listened to it. She's yeah. like, this isn't bad. I was like, this is the first show you've ever listened to that I've done. Not a bad entry point for Tim, laughs. Tim's, I don't know. His recommendations for gifts, for friends, for significant others. Yeah. Not great. Mm. Whatever. I that hope, I hope all his friends got what they wanted, yeah, but I think they got gift Subway cards? gift cards. Or McDonald's gift cards so Tim can score on the six free and donuts. And here's the problem. They get this gift card. They're way too polite about it, as you should be, but they could just end it. They can end this bit of him thinking that people respect and enjoy those gift cards. They could, but yeah, people are too polite. They don't want to. Tim's too nice. People don't yeah. like hurting. Only I will hurt Tim's feelings. And, and, and it's Subway. It's such an innocent thing that obviously anyone could spend and get their 20 bucks at Subway over like... Everybody goes to Subway at least once a year. I I went to Subway like 10 days ago. It tasted like water, I'm sure of it. You know what? I was very hungry. I quite enjoyed my sweet onion teriyaki. Listen, you know exactly what you're going to pay for. Well, that was my point. Everybody goes once or twice a year. It's very consistent from location to location. Yeah, But it's nothing, but it's bad. Sometimes... Yeah. No one's ever, except for Tim, apparently. No one's no one's ever like, I have my choice of anything right now. I'll go to Subway. No one's saying that. <laughs> except you know for what Tim, my friends for want Tim for Christmas? His, except for Tim and Free his best, Subway. Yeah. Tim and his best friend, Jared. They're the only two. 
Oh, Jerry Jeff did let me know that the two for six are back on at Harvey's. I, I made a note of it. I did let him know. And, and so, I drove by a Harvey's the other day, and there's a big banner outside that says two for six, which I wouldn't even look at. <laughs> Have you not let me know? I wouldn't have bothered to look over there. And I looked, and they had the big banner up. So the big the banner, I only told you because literally last time you said you saw the commercial, you wrote it down in I a did. notebook. I did. I like to keep note of all the hot deals that are on. <laughs> Well, speaking of hot deals, hold on. Paul has something to say, but someone did tweet us, Tim, that the McDonald's coupons that they send out after the New Year's to make sure that you don't go on a diet starting like January 2nd, <laughs> they've hit the mail. You might be receiving yours any moment. I love getting coupons in the mail. So See, I Tim, will be receiving You them. don't even use the app. Like, it's the, the, app, the app has all the, the deals. The app gets all weekly the time. deals. I get, this is what I'm you told. You get free French fries every time the Raptors hit 12. Three pointers. They pop them all game. Is that just in Toronto or is that across Canada? I bet you it could be across Canada. Paul. I wanted to say that uh, my mom actually bought those gift cards for all of my nieces and nephews. Subway? Yeah, so she got the free Big Macs, so I ended up getting one. But I just wanted to put the point out there that you only buy those things for children. The the kids loved it. They're $25 McDonald's gift cards. McDonald's is not Subway. uh, Not a thing you usually give to adults. But at the same time, McDonald's, that's that's perfectly reasonable, yeah. For kids, get the McDonald's gift cards. They'll love that. Yeah. Wow, Tim. There's so many mobile coupons here, bro. Tell us the best one. I'm afraid that if I get, the, I'm afraid if I get the app, I'll never not want to. I'm afraid that I'll become captured by the machine. Well, what would, uh, what, would you, what would change in your day to day? Three dollar Big Mac or McChicken. See, because uh, I'd, upta- I'd be on that app constantly. Two for five McFlurries. Two combos for eleven bucks. It's funny because you say these deals. To it, Americans, it, they, it's, it's no. It's, that, it, like yeah. these deals aren't even as good as American. Prices. No, normal. Okay, but they're prices. deals to me. Yeah. They're deals yeah. to me. Damn it! Uh, last week, we, yeah, our McDonald's is more expensive here, yeah, considerably. McDonald's actually. around the world is far more expensive than it is, in and America. we don't have the sweet teas. Well, God forbid, Tim. Recap of last week, week sixteen. Jeff and I were both eight and eight. That gives me an 11-game lead on Jeff going into the final week. So I just need to win six games, go 6-10 and 10 against the spread to clinch victory for the year. I'm 130-108. and 108. Jeff is a 500, 119, and 119. Here's the drama, though. Tim went 6-10 and 10 against the spread. The coin went 10-6 and 6 against the spread, pulling the coin into a dead heat with Tim at oh 107 and 131 with one week to play. Tim, will you beat the coin? We're, I guess we're going to find out. How did Super Locks go? Your big rival. Uh, you won your Super Lock, only one to win your Super Lock. You still remain in last place. Jeff is 10 and 6. I'm 6 and 9, and you are 6 and 10. Tim, here's, I the, am. here's the interesting part. You lost both of your free money plays last week, and yep. every leg of your seven point teaser lost. Wow. Yeah, that was rough. How that do you, was rough. That's hard. Yep. If you had played the exact opposite of my teaser, you made money. No, 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 no. See, sometimes you could do that and you can both win with but seven instance, points. If people, had ju- if people had just bet the opposite team versus the spread. Yeah, that's – yeah, that's – They would have won. Exactly, and a lot no more money. No teaser needed. To lose ev- – how many? Four? Four. Seven-point teaser over yep. four? <laughs> that's hard to do. <laughs> like That's just- <laughs> why we're coming back for the for the season finale. We're coming out with a money line parlay to end the year. Seems All to right. be where I've had my most success. Big return? Year. Big return? No, it's like plus 300. He always yeah, ruins his money line more. parlays. With, with he, the underdog, yeah. yeah. He, uh, and there's no chance the Jets oh. aren't on this. Uh, the, that's the underdog. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> So that brings you to a crisp three and fifteen for the year after those two losses. Yeah, but see, I think that's a deceptive number. I think I should be like quoted with the amount of units, units up or yeah. down. He had a better year this year than in, in fairness. Yeah, three you, and fifteen is much worse than I than like how I actually finished dollar because he's not twelve units under five hundred. Well, he's not anything. He doesn't even fucking bet these. <laughs> yeah, I yes, don't. I, do. I don't no, know you if don't. you want to go all third party tracking on these. Yeah, Tim. you you want to go third party tracking, Tim? No, I don't, but I'm just saying, I'm just trying to put into context for people what 3 and 15 means. Well, you hit two Moneyline parlays and one teaser. So I'd say that, like, in the... It's like five and a half? Yeah. And and 15? 
Like six and fifteen. I'll give him seven and fifteen. Seven and fifteen. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, nine and eighty-two lifetime. That's not uh, catching you up. No, kind of cracked double digits this week. I mean, it's been five years, so let's go. Let's get into the games then. Miami and Buffalo is game numero. <laughs> uh, Buffalo is still currently favored by a point. Forty-four and a half is the over/under. There is no word as of this recording of whether or not that the Bills are going to sit their players. They're locked into a home playoff game. They're locked into the two or three seed. They would not play the Chiefs until the AFC Championship, regardless of the outcome of what happens. If the Steelers lose, they're automatically seed number two. If they win, they're seed number two. Uh, that Pittsburgh game will be going on at the same time, so maybe they reassess at halftime. Josh Allen needs forty yards to break the all-time Buffalo Bills passing record. So I assume they leave him in to get that, but there's no announcement yet on whether they're going to... This opened at four and a half, and it went immediately to minus one, leading most people to believe that they're probably going to sit their guys at some point. I don't understand it. I, I love Buffalo it. at minus one, then. Yeah. That's Being crazy. the two seed is such an advantage over is the it? three seed. You guarantee two home games. Yeah, but... The three seed doesn't but, get that. But do you... Where this year has been so compact, and I, I think it's the main reason that the Steelers are sitting their guys down. Oh, I get why the they're Steelers doing didn't it. have a bye, bye week, week, and they're old as shit. Yeah, and, that the I get. and the Bills had their bye week early, and then they had that like weird oh. COVID dump in the middle. Like Bills I, are on one right now, bro. I would not want to mess with that. I'm not saying Allen plays four quarters, but this notion and it's forty yards and done. Not a chance. I would. I would, th- I would not th- a chance. I would guess half. I reassess it half. Because if Pittsburgh's down 10, you're not pulling Allen. Yeah, you probably are. If Pittsburgh's down 10, you probably are You're probably Allen. not. Sean McDermott is a way too, like, no bullshit kind of guy. Like, there's he no... He also is the type of guy who'd want to knock his division rival out of the play. Well, or, or you can look at but this... Are they in, playing again next the, week? Well, that, that, I think then they you would. Know, I, like I, th- I, th- I think that's the reason then why you don't... you don't throw the sink at Tua. You let Tua think he knows how to do something. It, that, I think that's sort of the point. Remember of, when Lamar of, played of the, the Chargers? Of the four teams fighting for this last spot, Miami is the worst of the four of them. Wouldn't you want them in the playoffs? My, I think it's an event. I mean, I think Miami having to go to Buffalo is a bad spot for them. I think it's, it gets a little bit better if they have to do it the week before. Um, McDermott's a really smart coach. He will find ways to do things to to Tua that Paul Gunther couldn't even think of. Well, I, and, and Paul Gunther had some pretty good success. Um, but I don't know if McDermott wants to show that hand here in many ways. A few years ago, the Chargers played the Ravens like week 16. They got trained by them at home. And then the Chargers went to the playoffs and they completely schemed it differently on Lamar and they couldn't do anything. Um, so I could see McDermott. McDermott could do whatever he wants. I don't know if he brings that plan. I think one is a soft number here for Buffalo. I think I Allen agree. plays. I think Allen plays at least uh, into the second half. And... I don't. I am so shaken at what I observed on Thursday night that I I don't even know that Saturday night Saturday, Saturday night, night that there would even Jeff and I were right the that, whole time. No, that that's essentially there, what we're no, trying no, no, to say here. That I'm just saying I don't even think versus like second string and freezing cold versus McDermott's B plan guarantees Miami anything. No, how does a two yard unless check they down play the other quarterback, which they may? So it would be a revenge scenario, and he'd be comfortable in Buffalo, and they should probably do that. And I'll give yeah, Flores credit. There's some three D chess going on here. Every button he has pushed has absolutely um, worked. worked. And Tua, the fact that Tua can play important snaps and then be taken out when it's more important, but still be getting learning experience, and the team is still winning. That's very cool and, like, important. It reminds me of but Harbaugh and Kaepernick year one when maybe, they had Alex Smith. Yes, but Har- Kaepernick, like, there was still a couple times when, like, Kaepernick would be unleashed and you'd see something like, whoa, we got something. I mean, seven and two doesn't do that for you? 34 air yards against fourth string safeties. Yeah, but it, it's a different scenario. When you're the Chargers, you can just fucking air it out all good. You're not playing for anything. I don't. When you no, have a no, good no. defense and you're a game manager, you don't have I to. I think air you're it. just like playing to rile me up. No, if I, don't was, need, yeah. I don't need to rile if there you was up. Enough, you tweeted about Tua like 38 times this week. Well, because they benched him again. He, he in lives a big game. Rent, Why do you. I don't understand why you care. You, like, are you fucking new? 
Yes, I am. Please explain it to me. He's just living rent free. No, your- I don't understand why you care. You, if this was it, name any fucking. All, 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 if this you, was the, all the you need is for people to tell no. you Herbert is good. That's no. all you're looking if, for. If, if you be like, Tua sucks so much, please tell me Herbert is if good. If this was the fifth please tell overall me, no, pick, he's so good. You are not paying attention to Justin Herbert. You're no. talking about Tua. He lives in my head. That's all you're doing no. at all times. No. The just guy, leave it alone. Firstly, people. I feel the same way are about dying Tua. Because he lives here and he lives in your head. Too. People are. Um, it's not even about that. You're like missing the whole big picture. There where is you're no stuck. big picture. All you do is talk about it. No, the big picture is I don't care what team it is. I don't care what year it is. If the fifth overall pick who at any point in his tenure had a tank for campaign came out with that air yards performance where I haven't really seen much of a ton before that to make me feel comfortable, I'd be fucking talking about it. There, is, there was no tank four campaign. <laughs> if there was a tank four campaign, he would have went first overall. There was a tank he, for two campaign. He got, until he okay, got let's hurt, change he the subject. He, he got, he got let's hurt change the subject. and couldn't finish. Let's and change the subject. it was no longer a tank at, four at campaign. At some point, how many players at any point in their college career, whether they end up going first overall or not, hurt, injured or not, have a tank four campaign? Very few, but he had it's one. A, it's a completely different scenario when you blow out your hip and then you can't play anymore. Look at Willis McGahee. I understand. Willis McGahee would have been a top five pick. The he passes blows out. don't even need to be complete. He blows You just got to show me that knee. they're fucking there. Josh Allen made lots of fucking passes that were bad as a rookie, but it's like, okay, like there's something fucking there when that thing gets unleashed. They don't even try to drive the ball down the field. They don't even And then they put in the, the other guy the and they just move it instantly. Yeah, if you have eyes to see it, it's clear who's good and who isn't. No, like, it's fine. There's a lot going on there. They got a fun program. They're lucky they could protect him. He's so fucking blessed to be in a in a great spot. But but if you think what what bothers me is you don't think I would be tweeting or hyper intrigued. You wouldn't be. You wouldn't be. Straight up, you wouldn't be. Call my call anyone you want. Okay. Where was these Drew Locke tweets last year? Drew Locke wasn't a top five pick. He was like 28th overall. Okay. His first round pick. He's not fifth overall. And then, then Jeff's right about this on this. Where, where was the Blake Bortles I mean, hate? Where was all this got stuff? Tua. All of it. Where was, where was the Sam Darnold hate when the guy couldn't make a throw or win a game? This show consists and is fueled on exactly that. What are you talking yeah, about? Well, yeah, yeah from me, but not from you. Darnold sucks oh, as much please, as he, you see Darnold all. sucks as much as he wants. I see, I see it all. I see it all, Pat. You look at him, and he's just so great. I see yeah, all his mistakes. I like Darnold. From going Darnold. Down the I still field. like Darnold. I think he's in a horrible spot. I, I don't. I mean, obviously, I can admit I'm wrong. I don't know fucking anything. You're going on my basis for evaluating college or pro quarterbacks. Well, well, it seems like you want. It seems like you want a lot play. of credit for one thing, but you want to. I don't want any other. credit. I just want people that fucking tell me I'm wrong as shit to be like, whoa, maybe you're not wrong as shit. You're letting Miami internet trolls really go at you here. You think fans of the Miami Dolphins are going to be protective of their quarterback? It's like if Herbert was bad, you'd be like, no, he's not. Listen, I you'd understand. Like, you'd, you'd essentially be like Tim listen, is with Darnold. No, I un- Do you understand how fucking panicked I would be and I would be owning it if, if, if. Give me a break. Give me a break. You wouldn't be. You'd be making every excuse in the book. But Tua it doesn't seem to have it right now. Now, maybe. I, I, I agree with you. Him. Tua doesn't have it right now. But I don't think that necessarily means that he's going to be a bust. I agree. This is the same guy you that, make in the it like I'm... that we didn't even think we'd see him play this year. Because he was injured. But why is he playing then? Because I think they're trying to get him reps. And I think that what they're asking him to do. The Just with this magic the idea that. that they can win in the fourth quarter. I, I think that they've assessed the situation properly. I mean, I'm not a part of the Miami Dolphins organization. But in games that he's been in, seven and two, obviously they think that they can get him see, experience. This is where... My point being, and the defense is good enough that they think that they can carry him by asking him not to do too much, and they're getting him all of these game reps that maybe in the off season, maybe he's a, and that's the unless they come out and at with the third overall pick they draft a quarterback, then you know where they actually lie. But I don't think that's going to be the case, or they just wouldn't be I agree. right now. I agree, they're not. They probably shouldn't draft another quarterback. But all the other times, the other quarterbacks that you mentioned, their team didn't own draft capital the next year that put them in a position to do it. And it was a conversation. So that's a conversation. And to me, that, that the fact that it's happening, whether it's clickbait or not, is fucking noteworthy to me. And when it happened with Josh Rosen, and, and would they do it in Arizona, we talked about it. Now, I don't know what happened with fucking Drew Locke after his rookie year. But Denver wasn't staring at a pick and another quarterback. That wasn't being talked about, really, by anybody. 
Denver going right back to the podium. And Sam Darnold, after his rookie year, maybe me, maybe I was too high on Sam Darnold, but nobody, nobody posted a single piece of content that the Jets need to go back to the podium the year after and draft another quarterback. Well, Nobody for did one that. thing, I think it's a lot of clickbaity stuff and just the way that Flores has managed this entire situation. And they own a great pick, so who would knows? actually point to that? With, I mean, to say that Tua has been as bad as Rosen, I would highly disagree. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. But to me, that was a hyper point of interest when now they just made this draft capital and now they own this pick. I love the draft. I love when these top of the guys um, go. We talk about them. They're They're connected. And that's just the way it, it fucking is. And I've said many times, I lost that battle before. You also have to remember that people really like Tua. 100%. People are rooting for Tua. There's that part and of it. And I'm too. rooting for him I'm way not. more yeah, than people exactly. think. Exactly. That's probably why. I'm he's rooting for him way okay. more than people think. People think my passion is, is anger. I am just, there are hyper concerning things. And, and Dolphin fans, they got, the, the program seems to be on a great track. But maybe you look at this thing and wonder, how do you put this? Like, like maybe, maybe, maybe we would be better off tra- drafting Justin Fields. No, not even Justin Fields. Maybe they'd be better off like just cutting bait and like getting a good veteran quarterback. Getting in there. Jameis. Getting no, like Matt Stafford. Like I don't, I don't know. know. That you, team is so goddamn complete. Okay, if and you there's could so trade. much structure there that that maybe just trying to teach anybody. I was wrong about where that team was. At the beginning of the year, I thought they were going up, but I didn't think they were ready to like crush 10 wins. I thought they were still going to win games, but maybe be better than their overall wins. They, they've really surpassed, like to me, where they are, and they're not served by a guy learning the position right now, like, say, the fucking Chargers and Bengals are. They are, and they, they are, and they are. How much of their record is a product of getting to play the Patriots and Jets twice? I mean, they lost the Patriots once back in what week one or week they two. They have nice wins. They have nice. They wins. beat the Rams. They beat the Cardinals. Beat the, who and both those teams may not make the one of those teams okay, isn't going to make the playoffs. I'm not. Tr- um, they have nice wins. The Raiders. Come on. They, they, sure, they beat show the Raiders. that's a 500. T- like. They beat a bunch of they, teams that have they beat. Be, they have, beat the Chargers. Oh, they were slim pickings. But. Well, so either the Cardinals or Rams will make the playoffs. That's a win over one playoff team. Do they have a win over any other playoff team? I, I don't, don't think so. I, if, I, they make, if they make the playoffs, it'll be because they've beaten Buffalo. So that would be two. I suppose that's true. I mean, there are scenarios where all of those teams lose and they still make it. Whatever. I mean, they took Seattle to the wire and lost. Uh, Listen, like, I don't know. It would be a particular joy for me if Fitzpatrick plays this game and loses because on January 3rd, 2016, a 10-5 and five Jets went into Buffalo looking to win to make the playoffs and fits through six interceptions and we missed the playoffs. So it would be nice if exactly five years later, the Dolphins are the ones who succumb to that fate because I was laughed at uproariously on the Twitters when that happened to my team. So I'd like to see Fitz do it to the Dolphins, but... Uh, the Bills should, should be three-point favorites, at least in this game. Give me the Bills, for well, sure. Like I said, they opened as four-and-a-half favorites, and people just pounded Miami. That makes I hope it's sense. A, I hope it's a blizzard. I hope it's a blizzard. Well, then the four-and-a-half is looking good if it's a blizzard. That makes, I actually think a blizzard really benefits Miami in this game rather than Buffalo. No, it never helps that it, team like it, that. It's, it's a high-octane offense versus a running short-throw defense team. Yeah, that, no. that, uh, Blizzard Great would, special teams. A, a blizzard yeah. would benefit Miami. Like it's funny because the Bills are essentially a dome team. The way that they're constructed, like put them on a fast track and they are fucking lights out. Yeah, I guess that that is a. Um... And that's not. It's just you don't have that mental picture in your mind of how this team operates. But their defense has been looking a lot better since what's the guy's name, Paul? Since he came back, Van Noy, Matt Milano. What's that? Milano. Matt Milano. Yeah. Although you can't say Milano. Oh, no, you can't say that one. It's the other one. Yeah, when say. Williams and Milano are out, Edmonds and Milano are out there together, that's a force. And their defense just needed to be good because it was bad for a while. Listen. And then it got good. In Not my good, opinion, the Bills are playing for a first half, like, all out. Like, if the starters are playing, that train that they're on right now, that consecutive run of goddamn fire that probably started before that. Who did they play the week before San Fran, Paul? But it's been San Fran, Pittsburgh. It was the, Arizona's, the they uh, lost DeAndre Hopkins catch. Since that catch. goddamn Hail Mary, they have been on a reign of fire. And I don't think you slow that down. I don't think you slow it down. I think you want to keep that snowball rolling. It's not 40 yards and out. 
they'll reassess at halftime. And I don't think 10 points in the second half, Pittsburgh being down is enough to pull the trigger. Not a coach like Sean McDermott. My only concern is Buffalo pulls a bait and switch on not wanting to show the one or the two plan for this Well, but game. I can't imagine. Yeah, I mean, I can't imagine that the Steelers playing backups against a team who needs to make the playoffs, they could ever lose. Like, no, bu- Buffalo fans have no experience with that. Yeah. So no, no, I'm sure uh, they're Buffalo, thinking about it. I think they got to – I think you play – Allen, I think you keep Miami well, out of the playoffs. Are, are, the, are the Steelers sitting everyone or just Roethlisberger? At so, least for the moment, Roethlisberger. But if you're going to sit him, then why would you be sitting all your other he valuable actually assets? Needs he, rest. He's the one who needs Physically the time off. might be t- more tired. I, I don't know. It seemed like to me I'd give some of those receivers some time. Well, why give them hits if you actually don't care? Why let the top yeah, tier receivers? But take I, the hits I, I, to- I, I don't think that it's Ben taking hits. I mean, Ben's almost forty, and he's clearly already banged up. All the receivers- like, if I were the Steelers, Minka Fitzpatrick wouldn't come close to the field. I've already lost two major defensive players. Why in God's name would I play him in a game that I clearly don't care about? Why doesn't Pittsburgh care? Because Miami's well, going to play to win for their own fate, and Pittsburgh can get a two seed. Which is because, two because home I, games. I don't think that these guys care about home field advantage. Then avoiding year. Kansas City as long as possible. Well, they do avoid Kansas a, City as long as a three possible. Seed Both does the same a, thing. Two and three are yeah. exactly the same. Kansas City's not going to play the two yeah. or the three. Yeah, you, so a it's a one relevant. can't play two or three in the they first. They can't the drop to round. four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was thinking of the. Um, yeah. So yeah, they avoid yeah, Kansas correct. City. Regard. Uh, I agree with you. If it was about avoiding Kansas City, they'd be playing to win. But they can't play them till the AFC championship. And I'm also anyway. torn like you. To me, going from Rudolph to Roethlisberger, with yeah. as long as the Pittsburgh defense, if is everyone for, else plays, like, I think it's worth like three, four, five points. Like Mason won. Rudolph sucks, but we'll, we'll get to that he, game when we get to that uh, game. He won. It's next. But Paul, what, what's oh. your take on this? You're the Bills fan. I told my non Bills fan, uh, non Bills fan friends this morning to bet Miami plus one eighty. Because on once, line? once, once the Mason Rudolph news dropped, it's clear Buffalo doesn't have anything to gain or lose. They can lose the game as long as the Steelers lose. Then you know Miami's yeah. obviously going to be playing for their life, for their playoff lives, and everything and like that. Once box- they said Mason Rudolph is playing in this game, it was very clear to me we can we can take our foot off the gas and, now. And yeah, you can, the Browns and, will do so we go good. out there the for. Will- do we well, go out there? The looks- yeah, they had no receivers last week. Like you can't and they really, really count good that. A Jets couple of weeks game. previous, they looked really good. A couple yeah, of weeks previous. Yeah, they're playing Mason. They, they, they're they playing Mason Rudolph. They're going to rest all of the receivers. Yeah. They didn't have a buy. That's that's uh, how I see this. Uh, that's fine. I still think Pittsburgh's going to win that game and probably win it comfortably. I don't and, care. And if you if somehow Miami ends up winning this and Cleveland ends up winning this, you get Miami and Cleveland in the playoffs, meaning that you lose at least one of Indy, Baltimore, or Tennessee. Three better Correct. teams than those two teams. So it would be advantageous to let in the weaker teams. And I hope for the Colts' sake it's their, their, themselves because after what they did last week, they deserve to be out. Because, <laughs> I mean, I think that all three of those other teams pose a much larger threat, especially as a first-round opponent, than Miami or Cleveland. Not to say that Miami or Cleveland can't upset Pittsburgh or Buffalo. I agree with in you. In the first Cleveland. round. I agree but you. those other three teams are just better. Oh, no doubt. It's just in my notes – uh, your buddy Thor, you've had him on the show before. Yeah, Nordstrom. He tweeted the exact same thing I tweeted. Yeah, but he also tweets other things. It just seems like the only thing you tweet about is two. No, he's like one. he's showing that like not just one. He's like, look, there's like four outlets talking about what the Dolphins should be doing with this draft pick. Like, also, you're still bringing it up. You can't not bring it up. I'm excited yeah, we, we about were off it. Tua for a bit there. We're still on the game. I'm not done. It's still in my notes. You're not going to let me get to it after. I mean, you'd just bring it up anyway. No, I would probably be stopped. I'm taking Miami plus one. I think they win the game. The coin is with me on this one, too. And I think the coin beats Tim. So I'm going to. I like coin. Buffalo now, but I don't want to bet this if I get the vibe that if Allen's not playing or if it feels like this 40 yards and done, which I don't believe in. I'd say but half. Like I said, half. If half. Miami wins this game, what is the probability? Uh, like that it's a it's next week again in buffalo it depends on what the other teams do but if, like if, over if, 50 50 probably if, if all of the teams win then it's buffalo miami so everyone is supposed in, unless, to win no 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 wins. in that case if everybody wins buff or miami jumps all the way to the five seed and they would get the titans and, in the first or, or the colts oh no I they would, would get love the titans. To see if everybody wins i think miami could everybody win wins miami titans yeah I, I i they're a huge dog but they're a dog against everybody miami 
I think their best they shot is to beat the Steelers. And special teams. They could win wild card weekend, but once you got to play the quarterbacks, like you got to hit a number to win the game. Well, Miami, and let's say Miami makes the playoffs in the first round against either Buffalo, Pittsburgh, Tennessee, or Indianapolis. Who do you think they have the best chance to beat? I think they're structured the best to beat Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh in its current form. wobbly yeah. form, yeah. sure. Just I think their defense. I mean, I, I but guess Tennessee. I'd, I'd rather go into Indianapolis. Tackles feels like a shadow of in. Like you, people can take shots at Indy when they're healthy. They don't have those two tackles. We'll have them back though. For the I guess that's part of them. I don't know. I yeah. felt very bad about saying I felt warm about Indianapolis. Yeah, of course. And then you watching them face plant and humiliate. I mean, not just that. Their quarterback quarterback played terribly in the fourth quarter, as he's wont to do. And they just threw away a game that they had no no business giving away. I, I hope they don't make the playoffs now because that type of shameful performance uh, doesn't merit a playoff burst. But that would mean Cleveland would, and Miami would both get in, and I can't have that. And and that Indy tried to give away both Houston games two of the past three weeks too. Well, that's it. They they both of those games were fumbled on the goal line. So the the Colts are probably as fraudulent as the Dolphins and Browns, but in a different way. Everyone's fraudulent to you. No, I don't even everybody. think the Dolphins are fraudulent. They're a great team. I just I mean, think they deserve to be where they are. Their long-term answer at quarterback is but still all their a question people on mark. the Dolphins, all the people on the Dolphins Reddit who are going on about how they're making the Super Bowl. Those people are wrong. I know two <laughs> Dolphins fans in my life, See? and both of them have very low expectations and are just happy they're doing well this year. Yeah, for the I first agree. time Those in ages. The Dolphins we know I know, other, we know but other I don't know why. I get these Dolphin Who? fans. I should ignore the Dolphin fans that talk to me because they do seem like the craziest ones. Because you're right, the ones that are actually in my personal life, they don't think that they they do realize what their eyes are seeing. They were exci- um, they're excited and for they're Tua because he's a rookie. Yeah, and they're excited that like hopefully just the program and how great it is and the draft capital, like everything will just keep coming up. Dolphins. So why not believe? that this Tua thing will work too because everything fucking else there since being literally the tanking perception of, of last September to where they are now, everything's turned to wine. So why won't Tua? Well, it, I think you can look at And the, that's, I get it. But you can look at this two ways too. Like your team, for example, has the quarterback. They don't have the coach. Miami has the coach. Do they have a quarterback? We don't know. But they have the coach. They have and that's the, really they important. Have, and they have, they have a, a program. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It's it's as important. It's like we sometimes you just bet a game. Coach quarterback, I like this side. And, and we'll that that was out. my biggest fault. Like I thought the Bills would really underperform this year and realistically they could be undefeated when you look at their schedule. They played that stupid Tuesday night game that they lost. They had to turn around and play the Chiefs on a short week. They lost that and they lost on a Hail Mary. Those were their three losses. Yeah, they're the, they're yeah. the greatest team of all time. I, I don't think anyone well, is saying that. No, but, no one's saying that. Water finds its level. To me they were like literally a heartbeat from losing that Patriots game. I think. They've, they've won some so close it, like, ones it's just as well. Water, to sure. me it's a water finding but it its does, level. It, but yeah, it's a, there to make the case. A lot like the Steelers like they kind of got covid fucked at yeah. a certain point like those were the two teams that except for oh like, every Denver. team has had similar like well, problems. No, no. i'm so tired g- g- give me give, give me one give me excuses. one jets example tim but pardon me give me one jets example about them getting covid fucked except for playing the browns we got Eagles. our buy completely see, screwed see, around see. and changed because of that did you have a short week game pardon me did you have a short no week we game? did not have to play a short week game when, we when, did, after when was the, when was the buy move to it was moved from the original week, which was week eight, I believe, to week six or week seven. Oh, Our no. schedule got all jumbled around. Oh, no. I'm just saying every oh, team no. has had problems. I think that's a bit different than but playing I, like three games in 15 days all of a sudden. Oh, I know. I, the world is so against. It's just, it's just a crutch. Buffalo people are expecting them I'm to I'm not even lose. saying Buffalo. And Buffalo. When they do, the Raven, I mean, the Ravens, got, to the Ravens really on. got a benefit. A crutch to lean on. They're what, 14 yes. and 3 or oh, good for 12 them. and 3? Good for them. They're killing <laughs> no, it. No, but when the other the shoe one drops, thing, they'll say, well, we should have had a buy. And here's why we didn't. And I, I'm tired of it. Yeah, people, I don't find that if Buffalo the fans lose, are whiners like if you. If the Bills lose to Indy or Miami at home wildcard weekend, I don't think we're going to be hearing we should have been on a buy. Oh, I yes. don't believe No, they're going to be pissed I, that they yeah, lost. I think they're going to be like, we lost to fucking an inferior team, and I'm pissed. I don't think they were like, no, the league's uh, – this yeah, is we'll the year without that. a bye. I also – you get caught up in this, and I got mad at you about it last week. You hold on to things way too long in an NFL season, Tim. Like, 
You you remember that stretch of the Bills losing to Kansas City and losing to Tennessee, and that I mean, being, I object to using the that, word losing because they got crushed. But by but Tennessee. you hold that as like some definitive thing, just the same way. I mean, look how hard I was on Green Bay last year and how much money they lost me. But I was smart enough to see what I was seeing this year, and, and you like. Up until you're still holding some like week through four loss against Tampa, he's, he's, that they he still like, thinks that the Raiders are good because they beat the Chiefs. It just all beat them twice. They're just a good matchup for the Chiefs. They're just a good matchup. Things like yeah. happen, and, and my point that I made to you last week: getting punched, getting punched in the mouth early, like like the Bills did in a five day window, like Green okay. Bay did. So it oftentimes ends up being the best thing that happens to these teams. I think, okay. t- no, I think will- weirdly, Tampa is set up like that. Tampa, Tampa went through their stretch where they just kind of got the Saints beat them you know, up. I was and thinking, they just didn't look good for a while. Now they've kind of come out of it. I don't want to admit this, and we'll get there when we get there, but I try to think who is the team that hasn't played its like best run of football yet that's capable. And I've been hard on Tampa, but trying to pick a team that hasn't done it yet that like maybe it started Saturday or, or in that one o'clock game in Detroit that ended in eight minutes. I'll tell you who maybe is playing f- their best football right now. The Jets? The Jets. The Chargers. Well, well, yeah, the Chargers <laughs> and the Jets. In a, in a, I mean, they're play, it's like the Dan Quinn situation. These guys are playing for their coach. Fuck no. Yeah. We'll get no, there. We definitely aren't. Our coach is done. This could be the last show with hair, Pat. So Miami for me in the coin, Buffalo for the two of you. Yeah. Cleveland, we've already kind of touched it's, on this I'll game. I'll take the 10 points. Uh, it's it's minus 10 Cleveland at home, 42. Apparently, they'll have their receivers back this week. They're not going to use Johnny from the McDonald's counter as one of their receivers. 84, who was looking pretty good for a while. I'm what just, was that guy's name, Tim? Ah, uh, dude, that guy was terrible. Every, but like, they didn't have to throw fifty three times. So, well, they got like, behind. The I, they were never down by a lot. Yeah, they the were. They were down, like, they had they were to down throw, twenty to three at one point, weren't they? The idea that they needed to throw fifty three times with those two running backs is asinine. They did it to themselves. Uh, I, I couldn't be more happy for such a lackluster and unimpressive team. Now you're expecting me to predict that they're going to beat Pittsburgh. When I've been saying for years that they can't beat Pittsburgh and they can't beat Baltimore because they can't beat Pittsburgh and they can't beat Baltimore, it's not going to happen. Like, I'm sorry, Browns fan. And Brown fans deep down inside know this too. They don't care what the spread is. They're terrified. They don't care who's playing. I think the Steelers are going to win the game, and I think they're going to cover the number. I'd be curious to know if Pittsburgh is resting anyone else besides Ben. Because I think I do think they won games last year. They went like eight and eight with Rudolph and Hodges it could and be whoever. A sloth game, like a sl- they're, they're a good defense with a good yeah. coach against a team who's primarily likes to rot on the ball. Maybe it's just a, just a, the pace of a game. ten points with just knowing it's Rudolph instead of Roethlisberger. I like ten points. I will say it's a today big- as we record. Yeah, you know, and that's what we're going by. I'm going to take Cleveland against the spread. I, I think that. The reason that they end up throwing 53 times, Tim, against the Jets is uh, you saw it earlier. I mean, you, I assume you watched that entire game. The first quarter oh, and a yes. half, they tried to get Chubb going. They tried to get Hunt going. And all the Jets did was just like, yeah, you're, you're not going to be able to run, throw to these absolute nobodies. Go ahead. And Yeah, but then you throw little screen passes to them. You get them like there's all kinds of things you can do. with Those two running backs are so good. That you can use them in a lot of different ways. And yeah, just it, like the Browns it doesn't matter how threw bad, up their hands. It doesn't matter how bad a defense is. If they know that you only have one move, you can get... It doesn't but matter if your receivers is. work at Burger King on the weekend, then you can't throw they, them. They try. There's one point Nick Chubb, who's one of the best running backs in the league, had like seven carries for negative one yards. <laughs> then you then you, you, then you what, keep, out keep running in the slot. And you can throw it no, to him. You that, 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 is, that is not, Kate. Okay. That, that is such a misconception because we see this yes, over... Yes, because their strategy works so no, smashingly. I, I'm, so. I'm, well, I'm saying, Tim, it's very easy to say there because you play Madden, and not successfully, by the way, to say, oh, just split out your running back into the slot and let him run routes. No one actually does that. That They're running backs. They are not receivers. That is not a part of their game plan. They are okay, not but you had there. to be a receiver. He had to be Well, a he's not a receiver, Tim. That's the problem. But the receivers aren't receivers either. Well, they're practice squad receivers. They actually are receivers. I think what Tim is saying is like maybe Chubb's imperfected receiving skills. Might well, you want to put him out there doing better. stuff he doesn't do, and maybe he gets hurt doing that. No, but if let's you put can, him in an uncomfortable. You can get him the ball close enough to the line of scrimmage in a bit of space. He can then become a running back. But I, I agree exactly. with you. I agree with you. It's not Madden. You can't just slot the guy over 
Yeah, he, no, has a, no, he, has, he has a 90, he has no. a 97 great, he has a 97 rating. He can play punter if he yeah, wants. You're to. right. They had a great <laughs> like game they, plan. Re- remember really when uh, remember when the Broncos started leading. a receiver at quarterback? How well that worked yeah. out? That was terrible. Good. Yeah, you're right. No, Cleveland Cleveland did great. Congratulations, Browns. I was really impressed by what you did. Uh, you looked really impressive in that game. Well, I mean, uh, it's what it's. I, I listen. I'm not going to take anything away from the Jets. That is probably the most embarrassing loss for the. That's more embarrassing than the Rams losing to the Jets. Is the Browns losing to the Jets? Like anyone losing to the Jets, it should be fucking ashamed of themselves. Like it is nah, a horrendous. It's, not as bad as it used to it's be. a horrendous last, loss. It's like the worst team of all time <laughs> that can't even lose properly. We're so, not even like the third or fourth worst team in the league, and yet we're going to get the second. Pick. Oh, but like, you're taking. So, but you're. But you're taking so everything which, away from the Browns team now. Are you? I'm just curious. Which team is bad? Bad which bad I mean, we had the Patriots on the ropes and should have beat them. So we you're better the than the beat. Patriots? So what you're saying is that the loss isn't all that bad for the Browns. No, this is a 4-11, 5-11, and 4-12 team. team? Which, you, you guys are the second overall pick, but which teams drafting like 3 through like 10 are you guys better than? I think we're definitely better than Cincinnati. Why? Definitely, I don't know about that. I, I would say pretty. With I, Burrow I, or without Burrow? Yeah, yeah, with or without Burrow. <laughs> I'll give it to you without Burrow. I know Brandon Allen and Sam Darnold are basically the same <laughs> after what I saw from Brandon Allen on the weekend and the week before. Well, it was Ryan Finley the week that's before. What I'm saying. Oh, no, it doesn't matter who the Bengals play. It's basically just the same as Jets quarterback one. Um, I'm the only one on Cleveland. The, the three of you are taking Pittsburgh. Yeah, I, I'm taking ten. Baltimore yeah. and Cincinnati. The plucky Cincinnati Bengals. 12 and a half point dogs at home. 45 is the over under. The Giants really should have covered that game last week. That game was a lot, uh, a lot closer. Baltimore was always in the red zone. They were, but they couldn't get it in because the Giants defense is like, all right. But like Daniel Jones didn't even play that poorly. It was like the first time all year that his offensive line, the offensive line is not great, but he legit had no time. And he even kind of made some stuff work. Um, do I do? Are we believing that the Bengals' offense is like okay all of a sudden, or is Baltimore just going to beat the I, shit out of a bad team like they normally do? Yeah, talking about teams starting to hit their stride, the Baltimore Ravens is one of those teams. Uh, after a weird, weird spot where like, they were ravaged with uh, with COVID nineteen, and then they showed up in that Browns game where they had every reason not to win that and managed to pull it out. Been uh, you know they crushed the Giants last week. They've been winning games. Uh, you know, they, they, they beat the Jaguars. So they're, they're looking very good. I mean, that's a team. My goodness. If you're the bills, that's why you want to be the two seed. Cause if Baltimore comes in there, you don't have a, you don't have much of a prayer. I don't think the way the Ravens are playing right now, in my opinion, I, that, that's a bit. Well, well, we'll be the I think that's actually a very even matchup. Baltimore it's a very even at matchup. Buffalo. Buffalo's favored by what? Three and a half, four. Yeah. Yeah. I would say actually that's fair. Three, three uh, and a half, would probably ready three. To, I'd Baltimore bet, has I would screwed bet Buffalo. us two years in a row. I bet Buffalo. hundred uh, percent. I think the Ravens would be the play there actually. I, I just don't know how the I don't see Baltimore moving the ball against. I'm Baltimore. honestly I'm betting Brian Debo blindly versus anybody but the Chiefs at this point. I'm so okay. I am so smitten. I'd shave my head and give it to Brian if we could be connected together. Hands off our guy. Hands your, off. Go, your guy's going. Hands off. So it's just a matter of where he goes. I don't know. I hear Jim Caldwell's available. Who? He'd be a great co- The Chargers yeah, Lynn, would keep his job. I, 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 I think that the Jets should bring back Herm Edwards. <laughs> He's actually too busy doing great work in Arizona State. He doesn't do... He has a really interesting thing he, going. He's like the CEO yeah. of the team. He's like the head coach, but yeah. he's not involved in like... Anything. I like that. Besides, like I hiring like people and recruiting. he's like the president. Of, yeah, a football ops, but he's the head coach and does like the sidelines on game days. But he's not involved yeah, I think in any smart. of the hours of of planning the game. It's probably. Smart. I don't mind that. I actually kind of like that kind of approach to uh, to a team, particularly a team that's really mismanaged. Could use yeah, that type he's of like the dad. like a general on top of the chain of command delegating to you know his colonels and his lieutenants i kind of well, like it well i think that uh, lovey smith just got fired you could hire him he's he's with it he's lovey smith was a very successful nfl coach oh, yeah. again a guy who does not get the credit he deserves yeah he was run out of the league because he played like 10 years behind by the end of it yeah but you know what he got to a super bowl he got to another NFC yeah tim you can go game. hire the corpse of joe gibbs is he still alive I yeah, he's he he is. no he is alive all right go hire him Plus. he's got three super bowls or two, or however well, many Washington did that, and they got back to the playoffs multiple times. Well, I mean, so, why wouldn't it work again? I'm just saying it can work, can be successful. Levy's but in this just had like 
five losing seasons in a row in college? Well, Illinois is not the greatest place in the Big Ten. Well, neither to, is the Jets. To, well, I didn't say he has to be the Jets head coach, although I think he'd be a, I'd be perfectly fine with him because uh, he'd be a the delegate. The Jets are going to just get an also-ran recycled coach. I really hope Maybe. so. Now that they didn't get Lawrence, it's going to be like Caldwell or Marvin Lewis. <laughs> Tim is going to be so happy. I think Marvin Lewis he be is, horrible. is um, horrible. He'd hire Lovey Smith. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we need? Devin Hester. We're a dire, dire offense around him. Anyway, I like in this game. I think the the Ravens cover and win the uh, the the Ravens tend to blow out bad teams, and I I do think the Bengals are a bad team. So, well, the Bengals backdoor. That's what you're asking. Yeah, I'm not. That's literally the question, and it's very much in play. But in the end, Baltimore has just been living in red zone lately. Versus everyone, I'm actually gonna I'm gonna take Cincinnati. I've been taking Cincinnati the past few weeks, paying off. Well, yeah, they've won two big games. Well, not big games, but they, they were dogs against the Texans, big dogs against Pittsburgh. So. And when you start looking into it and you see the teams that have to win versus the teams that have nothing to play for, the teams that have nothing to play for tend to beat the spread. I, I mentioned that last week in breaking down the Arizona-San Fran game. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah I was crazy nervous about, and that was a, against I was the nervous about that. that. That Niners team is much better than its record indicates, too, so. That Niners team is just weird. Some weeks they Very look weird. amazing, and then the next week like they look fucking good. How good could that team be with like league median quarterback play, though? I don't, next think, season, I, I don't think it's just Next season, I'm going to pick them to win the NFC West. Sorry. They're gonna, you're going to get Suck. great Sorry, odds on Niners fans. Sorry, guys. Sorry, like, boys. I don't want to lay down a lot of marker for 2021. I thought, a marker! Them- you said you retired from laying out <laughs> any markers after I put out that tweet of all of the markers you've ever laid down, and they were all wrong. I know, but I'm getting ready for New Year's Day to lay down several markers. For Why? The you said you wouldn't do it anymore. I know. I, I know. Mm. Why are you a like, liar? Are these multi-sport markers? Oh, yeah. And pop culture, not just sports, too. <laughs> like, all together. Just like when you cursed movies out of existence? People are going like to die. New Year's Day marker special. I do have several. <laughs> not during a that's pandemic, just, man. That's just That's just irresponsible. Listen, when I say something like, Laying down a marker, the San Diego Padres are going to win the World Series. That's not. Don't do that. Like, that's my that's second favorite team. That's what I think. Because they just got all these free agents, so you're like now the jumping on the team that's like hype. In this I'm in. That's what that's what you did for football too. When you picked Tampa Bay, then I may not have been proven wrong. <laughs> not yet, at least. So I'm taking Cincinnati. You two are taking Baltimore. You got a chance. You're going opposite me on all these picks here. How's the coin going on this? Making uh, 11 games would be quite the feat. I'm not exactly the co- trying to do it. The, co- the coin went uh, with Cincinnati as well, so you, you got some okay. differentiation here. All right. Get one on there. Dallas and the Giants. The winner of this game makes the playoffs if Washington loses. The Giants are three-point dogs at home. 45 is the over-under. I love the Giants in this game. People are kind of riding the coattails. Dallas is turning it around a little bit, but the way that they were able to aerial assault the Eagles last week after Fletcher Cox left the game Bingo. is a lot different than playing this Giants defense, which is pretty good. And as you said, the Giants game was probably closer than it appeared last week on the score. The, the shit-kicking game turnaround after the 14-3 lead the Eagles got out with. Um, I think this is a great number, Pat. This is a super lot consideration. Giants. Funny. See what the NFL feel the op- exact opposite. What the NFL should have done was just say that Both Washington them at Sunday night? that Washington forfeits the game and then move this to the Sunday night game. <laughs> Winner take all. Because it would be NBC nice if they could have played the parallel be Sunday night. Oh, NBC would be like, let's have that instead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I think Dallas wins comfortably. I've watched now enough of the Giants in the last month, and I was the biggest booster of the Giants on this show for most of this season. But I, you know, we watched How that whole Giants Browns. Giants, you you used to boost them, and now you're turning. I'm turning. Dallas is, is on my is the Tim is on, special. Wait, wait, well, Dallas it, is on it's, the, no, you you know what? You, you I'm going to bring this back to Tua. All for you. I don't hear a lot of like negative Daniel Jones thing. It's more just like a, eh. No one really talks a lot. He's about not Daniel good. Jones. He's not that he was, good. He was the sixth pick in the draft. I, you're right. Um, and he has a chance here. If they win this game and they get into the playoffs, we've already seen the Giants play the Bucks really tough once. What if the Giants go to like the NFC Championship game? It's not inconceivable. 
Oh, it's not. Yeah, I just have a, a question. They have they have a better chance of going to the NFC Championship game out of the Giants, Dallas, and Washington. I actually think the Giants have the most upside. They're probably I, I the worst so. of the three teams. I only, but the way that they're constructed with some of these matchups, I think like they've already beat Seattle. If they can beat Tampa, which they almost did last time, I can see it. The only fight back I'll give to your why weren't people's why isn't there the snarky Daniel Jones stuff? Because you saw some really high-end plays early that you could maybe fall back on in his tenure last year. And as someone that was hyper-focused on last year's draft, I don't recall one rumbling that the Giants were going, thinking, considering going back to the quarterback well. No, because I, don't I think a lot of it had ever to do... hearing that. And they had pick four, and they could have gone anyone they wanted after Herbert. If the, I mean, after Burrow. The, the only reason that anyone is talking about this is because Flores keeps yanking him from games. If they never yanked him from the game, they just lost those games, no one would really be talking about it. It's like, oh, they're clearly committed. And Flores is a goddamn genius. He sits there after the game at the podium. He's like, no, nah, he's like my like closer. And, like Fitzpatrick's is like Mariano Rivera. Hey, he's literally it, called no, my relief What pitcher. I said is he's like Mike Keenan from hockey, who would pull his goalie every other game just because he could that's well, it, who flores is it, it, it's also super sneaky because it could be the smartest idea in the world because when's fitzpatrick good when he's the backup <laughs> and you know that he can't sustain himself for being good over any period of time but in like a quarter and a half best quarterback in the league Un yeah uh, maybe <laughs> Uh, unbelievable but flores is like completely no he's like no i felt like i needed my reliever it's and it's so normal so, again, 3D chess. Well, and, Maybe and it, it's actually 3D chess. And it does work in a very different circumstance, too. Because how many turnovers does Tua have this year? Two? two uh, very great. So, Maybe one. So if Maybe the one Tim went to Reddit after. Yeah, so if you're, play, if you're playing these close games and you're relying on your defense to try to win you this game, and like establish a lead and try to win, you want the guy who's not Fitzpatrick who might throw six picks in one game <laughs> and have the game manager guy. But when you're down, How you're like, many oh. Tua throws went right through Oakland hands on Saturday night? Two well, or three. Oakland doesn't even have a team. Team Tim, or so I don't. Greater, know. I'm gonna say none, none. I'm right. You're wrong. Sorry. Jeff knows. <laughs> Listen, it's he was watching as closely as I was. It's the inspiration that he gives. Oh, we're the anyway, only, we're the only on ones watching closely. Dallas, Dallas on the is ticket? on the money line parlay. Oh, Dallas yeah. is on the money line parlay. All right, let's load yeah. up on the Giants. Dallas Man, is starting to turn into form. Dalton, we you know we have a history of him losing in the first round of the playoffs a lot. Like to see that tradition perhaps continue. Dallas just has just just has players and pardon me difference makers that on offense and on defense that i i, I think you know they get i, I think don't I, obviously i think tampa will beat them in the first round but i think dallas is a lot more exciting and fun team to get in there so i, I completely but, i i think that dallas i agree with you dallas is the more exciting team to have in the playoffs they have like you said they have this high-end talent but the team itself is bad and they're and they're very poor tampa <laughs> for certain very getting poorly. this division winner What's that? Tampa for sure gets this no, division No, Tampa winner. loses and the Rams win. The Rams would be the five seed. Because the Rams beat the Tampa? Uh, okay, yeah. So it's a race. That, that's why Tampa's playing everybody. To get the, yeah. to get the five seed. Uh, next game, Atlanta and Tampa. Tampa playing everyone's favorite by spread? six and a half. Sorry. I like Atlanta. Atlanta yeah, to how, lose by six and a half or less as they, as they want to do. How dare I go away from Atlanta? I know. How dare I go? How dare I go away from Atlanta last week when it was so obvious? And Jeff and I come. both had Atlanta. He, honestly, it was one of my favorite games. It was. I wish I made it my super lock. I screwed up with that Philly pick. Atlanta will play a close and lose. That's their. That's their and entire the Chiefs. MO. What is the Chiefs' ATS for as d dominant best team? I believe that they are one in seven over their past eight games against the spread. They are and just, everyone bets on the. And we've been picking it. Yeah. I've been picking against it. It's one of the reasons my record's good. Is that just pick against the Chiefs every week because everyone bets them. I'm taking Atlanta. Uh, sorry, I'm taking Tampa here. I'll fade yeah, you. You, gotta, you gotta fade me. I also think if Tampa's playing anybody, as someone that's been anti-Tampa since go and thinking that it won't work out, they they really did survive. They survived their rough spot. They survived some injuries. It's a talented team their that could literally Their hit. defense looks worse. Yes. It was so playing. It's such a high dominating run stopping level. There's so many portions but e but even of the just year. having Davis out has severely impacted their passing game. And I think a lot of that was masked last week when they played a shitty Lions team with a banged up quarterback and literally no coaches. Yeah, <laughs> I, I guess so. But but I always try to find who's that team, the team that sometimes I mean, there's Kansas City and a lot of the years, the Super Bowl, it's who's going to who's 
haven't we seen play their best football? Who's going to peak at the right time? I'm starting to get scared. It's it's Tampa because I. Well, Atlanta almost Atlanta you know should have won this game two weeks me? ago. The Vegas liability on Tampa because I've seen some sportsbook people talk and bring it up again now that you know they've clinched the playoff spot and they're set up to have this easy first round game. Well, the way I look at it, if they ever got in the Super Bowl, they're at home in the Super Bowl, and that is something to be said about that. Well, uh, T- Tampa doesn't know what it's like to play in front of all the fans if it's a full stadium. And they've been talking about trying to get it really full of first responders. Oh, of course stuff. they, of course yeah. they, are. because because they want to fill the fucking stadium. This they know that's but, the only way course. that they can get away with doing it. <laughs> Particularly people who have been vaccinated already, right? I now mean, that, that, you, I actually have this no is how problem. the NFL it, thinks. It, it, if it, well, that's I mean, it's kind of genius on their part. It makes them sure. look good for oh, one. It's thing. Machiavellian. It, it makes them look like super duper guys for helping out first responders. Um, is if everyone's vaccinated, there's probably a very low chance of anything going on with it, and they get to fill the stadium. It, it, it's perfect for them. DeSantis has I, been I, saying I, all year that stadium will be filled for the Super Bowl. I gotta give the NFL water. credit because there were so many times during the season be like, oh, there's gonna be a week 18, but we're in week 17, and what it was, worked. It actually yeah. worked. So what was the low point? Denver having to play with that quarterback room? That was probably Baltimore. the low point. No, I, I actually Baltimore? think the, the Titans. The low stuff? point was the Titans. Because it seemed like there was there was even chatter about like the season being Four canceled and forfeits, forfeits and shit like that, yeah, and it never happened. But Baltimore was planning on like like not playing a game on a Tuesday, and that game got moved off Thanksgiving night. Yeah, the to the, a the league the league has helped out Baltimore more than and they they are the opposite of getting COVID fucked. Them getting COVID actually kind of helped them out. I agree, which is why if they beat the Bills in the first round, Bills fans will just be whining and whining and whining about that. And the Bills' bad luck. Let me ask the Bills fan, Paul, are you going to be whining about it? You're going to be mad that they lost. No, we won't. We won't whine about it. And, like, I don't know. The scenarios don't really play out all that much for Baltimore to play us, to be perfectly honest. Uh, Tim, are you taking Tampa or about it? Yeah, I know you would whine about it. I will say I do know people, older people, that still complain (laughs) the Blue Jays had a 3-1 to lead in the ALCS in, I want to say, 85. Against against Oakland. That was, no, against, no, 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 against the Royals. Yeah. Tigers against or the Royals, Royals, wasn't it? Yeah, Royals. It was yeah, the it was first year that Major League Baseball went from a best of five to, to a best of seven. Uh, and people are still ticked about it. You got to so. win the fucking games. You know <laughs> what it is going into I, it. I would hold, I'd hold those types of grudges. Of course, because you, 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 you live your entire life with excuses. No, most you people, have no accountability. <laughs> and this is what you turn into. You turn into you. Yeah, they and you complain three- about stuff that happened fucking 30 years ago. They had a 3-1 lead. They lost the series. They yeah, only blame lose. themselves. How about this? Win the fourth game. Might might make things a little bit easier. Uh, Tim, are you taking Atlanta or Tampa? This is my last chance to take Atlanta for the season. I got to take the Falcons one last time. Plus six and a half. Like I said, they almost won this game two weeks ago. They should have won this they game. Go eight and eight ago. against the number. That would be impressive. Whose outlook do you dislike more, Detroit or Atlanta's going forward? Detroit. Well, I, it's funny that we always just compare these two teams, and the, it's funny because Atlanta has been so much more successful than Detroit. But it feels like now they're in very parallel places. I got a hypothetical trade for you: Tua and the third pick for Deshaun Watson. Trade Houston its pick back plus a quarterback. They don't need. It. They can. They can have Tua and get the third. There's pick. no way Watson. Watson's picking the coach. Let's say that. Houston does some pretty stupid things. I know Bob isn't there. Yeah, they anymore. have some former priest running it. It's now. perfect. I don't know if you've read about this guy. Some weirdo. Okay, that's sign Tebow. Their team. Take Tebow in the third pick and trade it for Deshaun Watson. I, I Would you do it for Stafford? Would you trade the third pick for Stafford? I don't think he's worth that much. No. Well, well Tim thinks no. you can get a top five pick for fucking Darnold. He's crazy. I don't think he? that. I don't think that. Do you think that Darnold or Stafford would get more on the open market? Probably Darnold. No, but that's There's not a no chance. No. <laughs> what? Because Stafford's thirty-three years old. Is Stafford thirty-three? So he's got six more he's years 33. left. Three. Sam sucks. Yeah, he I think was drafted he is the year after Bradford, right? Yes. Two thousand and I'm gonna look him up. I think he was born in eighty-eight or eighty-nine. He's thirty-two. 
32. That's okay, it. Okay, so it'll be 33. Whatever. I would take the 33. Right? Yeah, I would take the 30. Over a 23 year old who's no good. Who's yeah, Stafford? yeah. We, we've seen we've, we've seen, seen best football. We've seen Darnold's best football. No, it's not I, good. I think uh, I think a healthy Stafford in a good situation is something I'm excited. Like I would. He be... played with the best wide receiver perhaps we'll ever see in our lives. Yeah, and, and, and I believe crap. he's on pace to have the most passing yards ever. Currently. Yeah. No. Listen. <laughs> not everything works out. Not everyone's in. I breaks. like Matt Stafford a lot. Doesn't sound I'm just like. Saying. Well, here's the thing. You could either trade for Matt Stafford right now or just wait a year and sign Darnold when he's cut or not resigned. Okay. Well, whatever. Good I move. would rather 100% Stafford. Like, think about it. If you're the Miami Dolphins, who would you rather at quarterback next year? I feel, no, okay, it's not two with the, You're the Indianapolis Colts. The, the Chicago Bears. Bears. The, the Colts. Chica- the Colts or Bears. It's not even close. Stafford. Yeah. Of course it's Stafford. And I like Darnold. If you're the Raiders, I'm not ready to if you're the Raiders. Stafford over Darnold, it's not even close to me. And I'm a pro Darnold guy. It's not close. Derek Carr has but, a but lifetime sneak here with the Raiders, so he'll never be traded. Sam Darnold's only 13 years old. You have to remember that. That's, he's going to get so much better over the next 25 years. You know, he had a, a season ruined by Mono, <laughs> another season ruined by his coach. I'm telling you, he, there's going to be a moment. I'm on, on the mainstream clickbait outlets. It's going to be a thing where it's like, whoa, Sam Darnold like just came in to replace this quarterback who got hurt and he played well. And can you believe Sam's only 28 years old? No, I, I don't even think. Yeah, there, there could be that one. Or we're going to get the off season at some point, probably after he gets cut. It's like Sam Darnold has lost 70 pounds. He's in the best shape of his life. Like, Whatever. We're, we're definitely going to get Whatever. that one, too. Whatever. The guy has more chins and fucking wins this year. Think if the you Jets, say so. <laughs> think the Jets should sign uh, Haskins? He's out there. No, I don't. That guy, poor guy, can't play. But you want, you would rather Darnold come back, right? If then, it means taking Kanai with the second pick overall and protecting him, absolutely. Or the even coach trading the pick and, and just building more. That's fine, too. I trust Douglas, and I trust whoever he hires as a coach to make the right decision. If they decide they don't want Darnold, uh, I trust them. Then well, I'll go with whatever. But if they think Darnold, they can make it work with him. Go ahead and draft this tackle. You have two of the best offensive tackles in football and a line that is almost impenetrable. And coming off three wins in 2020 to sort of slingshot you into this next year with a ton of money. I'm just saying, <laughs> if the coach is confident, there's reason to think you can win eight, eight games. You I win think nine games. Darnold's back. The, I really do. The last time Tim bragged about the Jets' cat space, they signed Le'Veon Bell. <laughs> and C.J. Mosley. Who didn't, who decided, who, you know what? I don't even want to play this year. And as we spoke about that offseason and into the next season multiple times, what did McDermott and Brandon Bean do? They, they signed like nine guys. They did the Patriots move, yeah. just w- avoiding day one and two and signing day yeah. three, four, and five. Nine guys. guys Depth everywhere, right, solidified. Yeah. I mean, we've been over this before. I don't know why I need to hear this lecture about how Wait, poor you, are the Jets. You just told us <laughs> that they're going to win three in a row and slingshot into next year. You just said that. You bragged about well, the just saying worst thing you don't know how to use it. Well, that's, this is Douglas's first full season in charge of the team and first full off season with a new coach. I, I, I trust him, and I think we'll be fine. We'll see. The Jets are three-point dogs Divisions in New England, 40 is the over-under. The Jets and Bills are going to play week one. The Bills are going to beat them by like 50. It's going to be hilarious. Points no, we played them week one the last two seasons in a row. We played them week one the last two seasons in a yeah, row. Yeah, it might There's be no Monday Night Football happen. next year. And, and yeah, it could, it could be the <laughs> o- Thursday game, Tim. Bills Super Bowl champs against the Jets. <laughs> against a revamped Jets with like Kenny Galladay <laughs> and like Eric B. Uh, and Debo coming back against his old team in the opener in the Super Bowl. Yeah, sure. I can get behind. Dable's that. way too smart to sign with That's you. That's true. With you idiots. Yeah, he, he's, he's, there's he no is. way. He's a good he's coach. Just, no way he's he wants strapping to the himself Jets. to Sam Darnold. Like he's not. He'd probably well, come back he, to Buffalo before he'd do that. Well, if, unless, he unless he becomes like Darnold. no, well, unless he like pulls a Gus Farrat and smashes his head, celebrating something after they win the Super Bowl, I think he's going to stay away from the Jets. Oh, but if he doesn't want Darnold, then Darnold would be gone. Like I, I do think that new head coach will have a lot of input. In so the Jets are underdogs at New England. I have no I idea. I love them in this game. I know you do. You already <laughs> said they're on the money line parlay. Apparently who's starting a, who's starting quarterback for the Patriots this t- week? I just want to say apparently this was a nine point advance spread. For the Patriots? Yeah. Before last night. Yeah. Well, here's here's the difference. I mean, this is just me watching the games. Buffalo might be better than the Patriots. Might be. And the Jets might not be as good as Buffalo. I'm just that that's me. <laughs> Yeah, I don't that's my take on the situation. To nine. 
but we played the Patriots earlier this year on a Monday night. We took them right to the wire. Uh, the Patriots just look broken down and beaten up. And I think Newton will start because the Patriots owe him, I think, the opportunity to sort of sell himself one last time before he goes his separate ways. Of course, Jets. Newton I wonder if all those Cam Newton. I wonder if all those people who tweeted back in, uh, uh, you know, uh, July. I can't believe how dumb the NFL is to let Belichick steal Cam Newton for the league minimum. So ha ha contracts. ha! They were all wrong. They were all wrong. I wonder how many of them will admit their wrongness. Probably very few. Uh, it Still didn't work out. It was, was good. It was, it was almost never going to work out. There was a reason he was signed for the minimum. The guy, unfortunately, he just can't play anymore. I wouldn't uh, say Cam's done. Cam had a horrible year. I was, I was. He dead will wrong. never be. I was I dead be wrong on Cam. He's not a but, starter next year. Ah, uh, yeah. There's no he, way he start. might not be a starter next year, but I, I don't quite know what's wrong with him. I mean, at one point, I thought maybe lingering effects of COVID, but it, it looks like an arm. And maybe it is. And maybe, yeah, it's just he seems injured again, but he missed all last year, too, because of an injury. And at some point, right, it's just it's just over for a Does, guy. And that's a shame. He's a former NFL MVP and used to be an electric player. But those days seem to be over for the time being. He'd be a great backup to have. The Rams would be delighted. He's still better than Goff, so let's not go crazy. But no, but in terms of like a team that would have to go to a backup in a big spot, you know, the Eagles had to do it in the playoffs last year with an injury. Like He'd be a great guy to have as a backup sort of go-to uh, when things get tough, but There's anyway, I think he'll start this game. I think the Jets are playing inspired football as much as they can. This team is going to have the number two pick. They can't get worse. They can't get better with that. They're getting they're going to pick higher than they ought to because I don't think they're even the second worst team in football. But yet they get to pick there. They're playing pretty. I mean, they should have beat the Raiders. Then they got beaten badly uh, by Seattle. Then they won the next two. They could be in a three or four streak, maybe a five or four or five streak then the season. D Samber, as I call it, has been a thing time and time again. Like, like when he almost Jets. completed half of his Why passes last week. Why are you stealing Phil Sember, bro? Darnold well, has been horrendous, <laughs> by the way, during December this year. He, he was so he was so good last week. They they replaced him with Jamison Crowder at quarterback. This campaign put up two Ws. This campaign. Put up three Ws. This. Okay, so hold on, hold on one second, Tim. So Darnold has been shitty, and they've won two games. Tua has been shitty and he's won seven games, but Tua sucks and Sam is good. We're not talking about Tua right now. No, no but I, I'm saying I'm I'm using your logic about transferring on who's good and who's not onto people. Tua not playing well wins games. He's bad. Tua's Darnold, problems are a different type of problems. Darnold is throwing unadvisedly. Tua can't, won't. Darnold's not completing half of his passes. But at he's least he's for like 190 he's yards a game. Ball. Yeah, and not he's doing to it drive well. The ball. He's also very poorly coached. Listen, I I don't know what else there is to say other than I the Patriots look just dead and defeated and so i mean the books think these teams are equal right now i think that's a fair assessment but the jets seem inspired and the patriots don't so i'll take the jets and we're putting them on the money line probably this notion that it took you guys till christmas to win your first game and this second overall pick is unbecoming or you're more you're like too I feel good lucky. I feel for lucky. that status is goddamn ridiculous. <laughs> no, I have said lucky. I don't. Think I have said some team. ridiculous things here, but you guys didn't win a game till post the middle of December. You're slotted in that spot He's for it a December. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's 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 well deserved. On the other side here, Pat, would you trade a, the second pick straight up, Tim, for the eleventh pick? <laughs> no, I would not. Why not? Uh, even I heard it's left, a, I heard it's left. the second best pick in the draft. Well, or, is that o- or is that only when the Jets have it? No, no. Whoever picks in the eleven spot will have a really, really. Of course, listen, could be the, the Chargers. Team eleven. The Chargers could be eleven. Back, mm-hmm. If the team in yeah, in eleven wants to trade up to two to get a quarterback or something, I'd be happy to move back to eleven and acquire a bunch of other picks. Yeah, like but that, they might know your value of eleven. In some ways, I'm kind of really excited now about the Jets Jets off season because. <laughs> There's so many options they have with that number two pick. If it was number more one, more excited it was than not yeah. knowing. He's more excited. No, no, there's like more excited having two it. than having Trevor Lawrence. No, yeah. he's no, no, more no, excited a to it. not knowing who they're going to pick than getting to just be excited about a generational quarterback yeah. prospect. You're Maybe. full of shit. These wins cost Maybe. you guys like five years, basically. <laughs> let's okay, let's well, actually again, call a spade a spade. Week, what else were they supposed to do? They're not trying to lose. They were never going to. So that is what it is. Uh, Here's the thing: the Patriots they try to the lose for the better pick because I can actually see the them Raiders doing game. that. And they should have won the Raiders game. So, yeah. Anyway, the 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 point is that they they have so many ways in which they can go. They can trade the pick and get a bunch of other picks. They can make the pick, and if they make the pick, uh, who knows what the, exactly? 
they could sell it. They could load up. Why are you crying people? so much, by the Tim way? Tim retweeted that uh, that comment, by the way. Sell Division is up for option. grabs. Yeah, well, bills Division bills are bills grabs. are disappearing for sure. <laughs> Same with Miami. Yeah, they're done too. Well, I think the Patriots could roar right back next year. Don't don't count them out. So uh, don't really count out the strong. Patriots, but the division's up for grabs with two by far <laughs> superior teams to the Jets. <laughs> Well, and, 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 a team, anybody could, and a team that you think is on the absolute. There's one team that's not going to win the division. You want me to, to, spoiler alert, who that is? It's, it's the Jets. It's, it's the Jets. Jets. I, I said. But we could win seven or eight or nine games next year, and that would be a nice improvement. Over How this many season. wins does Tim predict that the Jets have the day after the draft? 12, 13? No, 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 no. The no. Bills are a fool's gold. No, he's Miami starting, no, this, he's just, his floor is seven. Well, he just said December. nine. No, the floor is seven. It's December, so we're at double digits by April, <laughs> right? No, no, I, I don't think so. I, I, I'm, re, I, I'm a realist. This season has taught me a real lesson. I've been telling my friends. I sort of, I've, I've been chastened by this. Do I you really think learned it something. was something? You, you also just said you were going to lay down any more markers. They just told us you had like seven. Do you think your oh, body so many subconsciously markers. knew when you were crying week one, <laughs> like what you were in for? Well, it was it was like a wake up call. Put it that way. After the whole world had been talking about us all off season, and got me hyped, and I got myself hyped for that to happen was sort of like a, a slap across the face. Jets Reddit was uh, so fired up for the Jets, Jeff. You have no idea. So anyway, I've what learned my marker, lesson. What marker? I you were going to talk about your markers again, laying them down. No, no, I'm just saying I have several good ones. I think lined up for 2021. So, it's an so, Olympic so, keeper. so, how many of them involve the Jets? I don't know that any of them will involve the Jets. Give, me, give me an Olympics that. one, because we still don't yeah. even know if the Olympics are happening, for one thing. Yeah, burn I, your I think Olympics we're marker. More, it's looking, I think, more and more likely that the Olympics are going to happen. The United States is going to win the most gold medals. So you're going to throw down don't a don't marker that we're right, going to have I a game? I actually games? think they will not. Give me, is that your Olympic marker? That's your marker that the United States will that, not that, win the most? That China will win the most Olympics. China! <laughs> yes. Didn't China win the most, like, two of the past three Olympics? They won the most medals. I don't believe they won the most gold. Well, medals. Tim, you know what? You're yeah, being a yeah, total no, you're medal. Beep. Sorry, Tiki. You get fired from NBC. I Shouldn't also said think it. that. Uh, Do you remember I that also clip? think if if he plays, I think Brooks will win the gold medal. Brooks probably yeah, won't if even make the Olympic team. Yeah. Well, he, given that he won he, multiple majors between the last two Olympics, I think he probably will. No, no, that's I not know, how it works. No, it's world rank. He's so far back. Is he that far back? Yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's, he'd have to jump like 14 guys, and three of them are named Justin Dustin, Thomas, yeah, but Dustin I, he, Johnson, and more. He'll and probably Bryson. win. Bryson and more. Probably, Cap- yeah, well, he'll probably win a major this year. No, anyway, it, fair it, enough. It, it, he doesn't make put, it. Put it, put it this way. Just winning a major only gets him on par with those guys. Because they all because Bryson, Morikawa, and Dustin all have majors already, plus they fair. have multiple other wins on top of it. Brooks doesn't. Brooks okay, pulls his back enough. in the next couple of weeks. We know what happened. Brooks here. is already talking weird about his knee again. I, no, Tim, anyway, you're, you're but off. I do have some markers for, t- and maybe I'll just only lay down markers on New Year's Day and then re- then abstain the rest of the year. Uh, I'm, well, it's considering you said you would abstain like three days ago. I know. And now you have like ten I know. lined up. You just you need the attention. Don't you, you can't resist. He can't, it's like the scratch offs. He yeah, can't resist. Can't resist. Down I won markers. twenty bucks on those the other day. I'll let you know. Still how much? Did you, how much did you spend? Still playing. I rolled it all into more scratchers. <laughs> <laughs> so was that Sound a pl- was that a plus EV move, Tim? Would you say? I won five dollars on another one, so I'm I'm actually no further down well, than I was from that initial scratcher. Before we get off the jets, Tim, you embarrassingly couldn't have ran faster away from calling the win last week. And on Sunday, you were taking credit for That's it. That's true. You even said on this show last week that they wouldn't beat Cleveland. So I wasn't taking credit for that. Then why then I'm... why were you tweeting it out saying, <laughs> I said they would beat Cleveland? I just wanted to highlight that you two mocked the idea that they could beat Cleveland. And, and so did you. you guys were wrong. And so did you. And that you were wrong at the very idea of it. And all it I took was for it. the day before for all the receivers to be ruled out. No. And you still inter- said Cleveland was going to win. I entertained it before I decided to pick So you want, you want credit no matter what the outcome was, is what you I saying. think that... You get no credit. The, you the said they weren't going to win. Made, we asked you point blank... What, what call? We asked you point blank on the show last week. Do you think the Jets are going to win? You said no. 
Well, I just think you need to eat some crow for what you guys did two weeks ago when you laughed at me at the very conception of the Jets winning that game. You guys thought it was a delightful, hilarious uh, idea. I was laughing at your And you guys confidence. have eggs on your face. It's true. And you have eggs on your face on it. That's all. I called this Jets win call- two weeks ago. So we're, we're not going to pretend what happened in between you saying that and you basically say the Jets are going to win He didn't week. walk it back. He ran it back as fast as he could. They I lost just, all of their receivers. <laughs> so what? He had <laughs> that matters. He had nobody out there other than Barrios playing receiver. I, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm apologizing to nobody. Uh, my point was, I made that call. Your point was, ago. I want credit for something I don't deserve. That's classic you. When, when you get some things, credit. Listen, you get no credit. Jeff and I, I gonna, absolutely get no credit. We were dead wrong about it too. But you picked against them. You said that they would not win. You get zero fucking credit because you were wrong. Just deal well, with I the fact that I you're wrong. Some credit. Why? I just think I you, you some. deserve some I, I, credit for kind of being right in the first place, then giving that up. You don't get credit for that. Well, just, yeah, I, I, I think I deserve. You credit. don't. This is why you don't get credit. And people laugh at you. This is why. Mm. You want to play both sides of everything, and it just makes <laughs> you look like an idiot. No, it doesn't. You're wrong so often that you have to try to take credit for things you're actually not as wrong about. That's true. That's what this has turned into. That's pathetic. That's a common theme. So what, what what's next for stuff you were not absolutely wrong about, but only I got really something wrong for the about. corner. I got something for the corner when we get there. Oh, I know what it is too. And Tim's actually wrong about that too. It just <laughs> it's just Tim being boomer cussed about the entire thing. Are we you taking it when we get to it? Are you taking New England or the Jets? I'm gonna take the Jets. I'm gonna take New England. Minnesota and Detroit. Detroit's favored by seven. Can Minnesota still get in? I don't think they can. No. Minnesota's favored by seven, aren't they? Yeah, Minnesota's favored by seven. Sorry. It looks like Stafford's gonna play. I guess both of these teams. This game. This game has zero implications. Uh, coin is taking Minnesota in this game. Tim. Yeah, Road Dome, Minnesota. I hate this game. Give me Detroit. I want to say I am so. I don't hate that. I can't stand Mike Zimmer. He used to be our guy. Used to be my H- guy. Has the league passed him no. by? Do you know what's happened? He's not fucking hungry. This guy. Google, Google, put it up on the screen. Oh, the, the his girlfriend. This guy's girlfriend. Get the fuck out of here, man. You got to be hungry to succeed in this life, in this league. You got to be Mike Zimmer. You should be spending 22 hours a day at work going home to a goddamn snaggletooth. Okay? And if you want to upgrade, that's fine. But you got to stay in your goddamn lane. Hey, Belichick upgraded ages ago. But he upgraded to a classy older woman. Like, she's a very attractive... What is she, like, 30? No, older. She's very attractive, but she's like an older woman that's appropriate for the greatest coach of all time. Not this, like, I'm now dating this supermodel who I've got to make happy. He can't make that happy and coach the Vikings happy. and coach a <laughs> pro football very team. happy. This is wrong. He this kinda, is wrong. You got to cut bait. He kind of looks like me if I spent way too much time in the sun. <laughs> he, he's living too good, charmed a life to give a shit. And I see it on Sunday. I'm taking to take Minnesota. I think Detroit's just... I got no... That, this, this rant... I, mean, I think there's reasons to take Detroit, but I don't think this is one no, of them. No, no. I was going to say, this rant <laughs> really? has no bearing on the game, but I'm telling you, the, the, the Vikings need to reevaluate their head coach because he's not hungry I, for I, life. I fire him. He's not hungry for life right gotta, now. They that offense has far too much talent yeah. on it to be run like it's a 1997 offense. Okay, He's, but they scored 30 some odd points last week. They scored 30 points when they lost to Green Bay early yeah, in the that's year. That's fine. You the, know what, Tim? The, the problem becomes, isn't it the becomes, offense. It becomes, the problem is the defense. The, it becomes a lot easier to score points in some of these games when you're down by fucking 25 points. Okay, but I think the principal issue is that the defense this year has just not been as good. I would agree. The that's, defense has not been good issue. this year, but they're it's like the Texans do this to themselves too. The Titans are weirdly involved in this. Just they run on first down every single fucking time. The Chargers do it too, mm-hmm. and they just put themselves in such a hole. Just do it. 50, Although the Titans, when the when the Titans got away 50, from that, just do it. When the Titans started throwing, 
Yeah, but when the Titans were throwing on first down against Green Bay, that's when they got behind and down a distance. It was actually stupid for the Titans. I know, you know, the, I, I understand in 99% of the cases that that's incorrect, but for Tennessee on Sunday night, they were actually yeah, Tim, getting if you, things if, if, off you, the if you look at one quarter of one game, it might not bear out the exact. No, the whole game. I'm sorry. Every time they started passing, like they have an effective drive going, then they would switch to a pass, a pass, and boom, next thing you know, they were punting. I actually think Tennessee needed to keep running in that ball game, and that, that was part of their undoing. I mean, at some point, they're just going to run the clock out. You can't come back anymore. There were still tons of time on the clock. The game was like at that point, 24, 60 or 26, 14 or whatever. There was no reason to be throwing constantly when you're the Titans and that that's just how you win ball games. Anyway, it's my opinion. We're at the midway point of the show. The cuss corners from football season have been broken up into two parts. They will be coming out soon. You can subscribe to those on the Pat Mayo Experience Audio Podcast. The Cuss Corner feed has its own podcast, by the way. I believe it's caught up to Cuss Corner 17 at the moment. If you want to go back, I've heard from a lot of people. Kenny Kim, shout out Kenny Kim, has been going back and binging Cuss Corner. He had never heard Cuss Corner before or seen Entourage before. He's caught up all the way now. (laughs) So shout out Kenny. Um, so Tim, I'm assuming what you're going to talk about today is how difficult you found it to watch the game on Amazon prime, despite the fact that I think at least 20 people just sent you the link where you could watch it and you just decided not to click on it. That link did not work. It's not, I true. appreciate people I, sending I, the link. I, I clicked on it. It brought me right to it. No, so you're lying. The, 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 so you're lying because you don't know how to use it. No, 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 I'm not. I tried a, mil- a, mil- a million times. Mm-hmm, that link mm-hmm, to the Twitch, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that was the Amazon Prime Twitch, just kept like a wheel. Just kept going and going mm-hmm. and saying not available. So, so it worked for the rest of the world except for you. It didn't work. Here's the thing. And I got calls from people who asked me. <laughs> who? What channel who? is the football please, game please, on? Please tell me who. And I want names. I, no, I actually <laughs> want names on this. <laughs> My father called me on the phone and said, what channel is the football game on? So and one said, person. It's, it's actually not you're, on, you're it's on the internet. And he was furious. And I was just as furious. <laughs> like, I want to watch a game on TV like a normal person. You could have. I, I, wa- I watch it on my TV. Yeah, well, I don't have the Chromecast like you. Do, yeah, you have so a I fucking smart TV, you moron. I have a smart TV. I don't know how to do that. I shouldn't have to know how to cast. So you shouldn't have to know how to do. Phone. You don't need to cast things on your phone. You could just go to the Amazon app on your fucking TV. You are not an old man. You should know how to do this. It's pathetic People, that I you don't, don't know how to do this. I like to turn the TV on, type in the <laughs> channel number, and watch my program. So it's what you're saying comic- is that you don't watch anything on Netflix ever. I do watch. It's Netflix. exactly the same I fucking know. thing. There's a channel on my TV for Netflix. <laughs> So you never watched Netflix That's before different. that, ever? I would watch it on my computer, mm-hmm. which is fine, but I want to watch an NFL game mm-hmm. on my TV. But movies and I don't are fine have on to, your phone? And I don't want to have to, you know, jailbreak my phone so that I can Chromecast it okay. to my TV. Okay, well, let's, like, let's, I don't want to do that. One second. Let's, let's, let's walk through this just for a second. I, I need you to explain this to me. Can you please explain jailbreaking your phone for the people who might not know? It just means availability of all the apps that I can't get. Which which so apps? I'd have which to which like, apps can't you get? I, whatever the app you needed to get the right. Obviously, it was like wasn't available in my region uh, that Twitch site. So I would have had to like download the Twitch and then, which I don't know if I could even do, and then like stream it to my phone, which would then stream to my like you'd have to jailbreak it so that it worked in my area. And then, like Chromecast, stream it to my TV. I don't, I don't know. You don't know don't what know. any of these dumb. words mean. I, I've heard them. You're right. I'm sure I'm explaining it badly. Although I don't think I'm all that far off. You're, I know you're I'm completely it far off. You could have just cl- logged onto Amazon.com and it was streaming right there on the front. Yeah, page. but no, it wasn't. I went on Amazon.com. Mm-hmm. It was not mm-hmm. streaming there. Yeah, for I me. mean, that's how it I got wasn't. it. Okay, well, it wasn't for me. Okay? You're lying, Tim. In, just say that you're lying, and you. I typed in Amazon.com. You, d- you didn't enter. You didn't into my. You didn't into my browser you on didn't. my phone, and nothing came up. Then it said it would be on the Yahoo Sports app, so I downloaded that, and it wouldn't come up. And then I went on this Twitch thing, and it wouldn't come. And at this point, I'm furious. I'm like, now one of our friends did offer me the login info for his Amazon Prime account, so I could watch it, and you, I could you have didn't done that. even need. The Amazon Prime login. You could have just streamed it off but, the site. But do not but use the me... service 
the Canadian service for Sunday ticket? Yeah, he has Sunday No, ticket. I have Sunday ticket up for my cable provider. Oh, okay. Yeah, he doesn't and have DAZN. <coughs> I used to, I had DAZN the very first season it was out because Sunday ticket wasn't available on my television. And my experience was that there's that. Yeah, I, I will. Them. I will say. I mean, you would never know how to use it on your phone or be out like with two. Like when the Chargers aren't playing, I'm usually just watching or with the kids, like one o'clock, what have you. Uh, Dzone in their year one through y- year three leaps and bounds. Yeah, uh, Dzone's good. No, yeah, it's it's, it's a yeah. switching of channels instantaneously. Yeah, it's essentially one of the big yeah. advantages TV has is that it's an instantaneous. It's, it's, well, it's well, instant, it, it, bro. It's, it's actually not because it because I assume you have Bell Five, so like when you click in between channels, there's like a three second lag time between switching channels. It's not instantaneous. Not really. Yes, yeah, there there is. I have it. Yeah, I think you have it too. No, don't you, it's Jeff? like a one Mississippi. Well, yeah, maybe you're so Yeah, it's exactly it's like the same a one on the Mississippi. Zone. You click on one, it takes a second to buffer, and boom, it goes. It's exactly the but, same. But I felt it's exactly the same technology, Tim. So I went on Twitter to vent, and I was very heartened to find that there were tons of people in the same circumstances. Yeah, all boomers. All people who are and like fucking I, 65 years old, Tim. And it really revealed how insular a lot of these millennials are. They're like, it, they couldn't even imagine that people didn't have Amazon Prime accounts. They don't even appreciate that there are uh, probably the majority of people out there have never even heard of Amazon Prime. But of course, they can't imagine that because all they and their millennial friends have Amazon Prime. So they couldn't imagine. But in the real world, uh, a lot of people don't have Amazon Prime. And quite a few people have never heard of I it. swear, do they a street or want to watch a football game. Go, 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 go right now. walk the street. Everyone you no, no, see. Put it, put it on Twitter right now. Have no, you Twitter's ever, a bad have you ever heard of Amazon media. Prime? Go stand at the gas station. Stand at the gas station. Ask everyone from from truck driver to my to, grandma to 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 eighty year old out of a Buick to the I guy driving his fancy sheet car. Are. No, okay, you're showing how crazy you are. One. Yeah, you were just. I mean, you've really you're really earning back. You're making Jeff look so sane today. No, <laughs> the tide the tide was really people. turning on you. There's a lot people, of people, people were hyping up. TC, no. they were saying, you know what? Maybe Jeff is more insane. You are fucking lost it. <laughs> Paul, There's a you, lot you of younger people say? in their 50s and 60s who've never heard not, of What? Yo, what? Name me one, sorry, Tim, young person in their 50s. Name me one. Well, like, it's not, not somebody who's like an octogenarian. I'm talking about people yeah, who are Yeah, some fucking 50s. boomer who doesn't know how to use the internet. 50-year-olds okay, you know, know what? how. That's a huge demo for the NFL. Yeah, you know what? To- Most 50-year-olds know how to use it. No, I don't think that's right. No, I the fantasy right. gambling aspect demo that makes the NFL thrive knows how to find Amazon Prime, buddy. Well, those people do, yes, but there's you are shutting yourself out of a market when you do that. It was a one-game experiment. It flopped, and I would be surprised. <laughs> well, you, you, have no, you have no idea. I would guarantee you see it next year. You think Amazon's going to be less involved? They're getting ready to buy the whole goddamn package, yeah. buddy. Get ready if for it. If you're CBS, you just say, I don't care. How much do I have to pay to outbid at Amazon? Yeah, they're going to try. Called? They're going to try to say that. Who has more money? And it might not work. I agree. Yeah, Fox the and NFL CB- is also very cautious. They would only allow I- one game on a Saturday for this because they watch. They know one they becomes don't go two, play two boxing. becomes five. Watch like the London. We we're there for one. No, Soon we're, we're there for. I'm sure, COVID has changed no, that. Tim, but- Tim was right. They got rid of the London game. T- guess pandemic what? Didn't matter. But guess what, Tim? To your point, Co- pandemic lost us London for a couple of years. But guess what? It did. Those fifty-year-olds you think didn't know about Amazon Prime? I bet your bottom dollar they now know about it. That is the whole. That is the whole point of this entire. Like everyone knows about it. Everyone knows about it. And we're all on the same goddamn page with Amazon. Well, you I'm do. not. You walk the mall. You're going to get 92% yes. And the biggest thing with this that I will say about the the Amazon Prime, the coaches, like the scouting broadcast was fucking amazing. Well, the Bucky Brooks and, and Jeremiah, Jeremiah was awesome. And sometimes they have Joy, her, uh, Colin Coward's uh, like yeah, producer. That, that was really good. The hosts. actual stream and broadcast itself was not good. Yeah. It was bad, actually. I like Jeremiah as a Charger guy. I'm, but that's, I'm, that's the I one like thing him. this opens it up to, which we've been talking about the entire yeah. time. If Amazon gets these games, that you could have your regular feed. You, oh. could, you could have the scouting feed. You could also have the the Pat, Tim, and Jeff gambling yeah, 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 feed yeah, yeah, yeah. at the same time, if that's what you actually want to tune into. So 13, it really yeah. opens up the door for where sports is actually going. 100%. And it just it's not going to leave TV. If anything, Amazon will buy all the rights and then lease it back to, to, to the, a network. And yeah. just with well, Amazon shit going I, I, on I, the I, my principal interest is that I can turn my on my television set, 
and I can watch the game the way I want. That will happen, except for but but next year there'll be but two prime game. games. Next year there'll be two of them. I, well, one of the playoff games is a prime only game. Tim no, is going to lose his mind. No, it is not. Isn't the opening? No, isn't, it isn't. Are, are you sure about that, or you just Hold don't on. want it to? Do you know be? how CBS we're so- and NBC bought the extra prime? Uh, CBS and NBC I, brought. A- bought Amazon the extra has prime. one of these. Games. Do you know one of the wild card games or their collection of them? I know Tim will hate this. I can't wait for it. I would never want to watch it for a Charger game, but one of them's going on like Nickelodeon with like crazy kid graphics. I, I, I'm going to tune in to that. I would never do that for a Charger playoff game, but I'm going to oh, watch that, that thing for sure. I don't sure. care if there's like multiple different broadcasts of the same game. I They do that in basketball for the Final Four and the National Championship game. They have special broadcasts based on the teams that are there. And during the National Championship for football. Yeah, watch right, along. And that's what Pat's talking stream. about. Except there'll be like 12 different versions of it. Straight edge watch along, that. gambling that, that, watch along, fun guys that. barely that, talking about the game watch along. And the whole point that's of cool. it right now is to enhance the exposure of how you can find this stuff. So as Jeff said, all of these people who didn't know how to find Amazon Prime, like yourself, because you're, what, 33 and don't know how to use Amazon somehow? Um, <laughs> I know how to use it. In, I, I know oh, really? You, you know how to you use it, You may be you? the youngest person on Earth unable to use Amazon that's over... My nephew uh, took my sister's credit card and was buying, like, <laughs> video game shit. He's, like, eight years old. <laughs> Hundred dollars. I mean, T- Tim can't I, figure I it out. Can't figure out how to go to the main page. He has to jailbreak his phone with the Chromecasts. I went to the main page. In case he has to go to the Roku stores to figure it out. It's yeah, all yeah, just yeah. very mind boggling to him. He wasn't there. I, I, it's funny to me that you're the only person who experienced this, and everyone okay, else was well, able I, to find he, it. Paul, my seventy-one-year-old uh, mother also had severe issues <laughs> with all of this. Um, I tried to connect. So basically, I went around the whole house looking for a second HDMI cable because she was like borderline crying when I said I was just going to pull the one HDMI cable out of it and connect it to the computer because I had the game on there. <laughs> it, it, it became a whole big old mess. So we didn't end up watching the game because of it. But, no, uh, but we could have done it. All I had to do is literally just connect that HDMI to, the, uh, to my computer, which had the game and running And the crazy on thing it. is Tim has a smart TV. So all he has to do is just bring it up on the Amazon app on that. Why do you I have a smart TV that. if you don't know how to use it? I didn't. It was given to me as a gift. Uh, I, I don't know how to. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I mean, know. from I so, for, from someone who claims that they read the manual to everything once they get it, doesn't sound like you're telling the truth about that either. Now, I does appreciate it? all the people who sent me the links, and I did try them. I couldn't get them to work for me, but I appreciate it. But it was awful. And there were lots of people on Twitter complaining too. So I felt like, okay, there's a lot of pushback on this. So maybe I will have my day on this. Well, it just makes you look fucking stupid. But Tim also argues about me being, anyone being able to like order their meal on their phone. I don't have have a problem with that. You literally ranted it before me. I ordered it. My order got sent to the kitchen before you. So Sorry, therefore, first, I'm going to get it before if you. If I show up in person, I should get to Why? get your get mine first. Why? Sorry. Because I would put the Because I want it. it. Now, Tim is the most selfish person alive. No, everything, I will, has to conform, I'm everything has to conform to the way that you understand it. Or it, it can't exist. It just Can triggers I, you to know. There's no one small aspect I want to fully agree with Tim on. That's a small portion of what he does. Nothing triggers me more than being in line, like next up at the counter at any place, any place from, from, from like a McDonald's type establishment to even like a nicer mid-tier restaurant that I'm picking up or making my order. If I am standing in front of you, you are not allowed to input like the computer telling you there's like a new Eats order coming through yes, or pick exactly. up the phone. I'm the person that made the effort to be here. You take care of those people, but you best take care of me First. Now, that's different than what I'm saying with the McDonald's thing or any of that where it just goes straight to the kitchen. I'm sorry, I'm confused about this. I may have zoned out when you were talking. So Say I am in line at a um, another, I was at this like veal sandwich place, just as an example. Killing baby cats. Was, sure. th- was this the barbecue place, Jeff? No, I wish I could go back there. My wife wouldn't even let me have it for my birthday. Um... And I'm, it's my turn to order. And as I get to the counter to give my order, like the beep on like the iPad goes off beside her, I guess clearly indicating someone has made a, um, a new Eats or, or some sort of third party order. And that order gets inputted 
Uh, I could see she's like working on making sure that's like sent away before she deals with and, me. And you're in line for this place. I am, yeah. Well, technically, that person ordered before you. It's exactly Through, the same scenario that you just laid out with Tim. No, my scenario when I do it like with a McDonald's What's is, the difference between the app and Uber Eats? You're standing in line. She doesn't need to. There's no, when I do it through the app at McDonald's, it doesn't even go to the person at the cash. It goes literally to the um, the kitchen. There is no. But that order came in before the person in line ordered just like that order did. You haven't ordered yet. That the solution is to ban mobile ordering. And so you, so no, I do what you're think there's a you distinction. Wanna, you want to put all these small businesses out of business because they have no way to sell their food. No, they should be McDonald's more one, courteous Timmy, to the customer standing directly in front of them. Yeah, trying to give actual. them COVID. <laughs> no, my actual point is that you should be more courteous to the customers who are there in person if you can. Why? And it, it seems like common sense. Why? I guess people, people, are, people are both it, ordering from the same place. Because I my guess. order isn't losing 30% to Uber. Sure, but well, they, there's need, that they need that money coming in. They absolutely sure. do. I'm, they, not saying I'm, they should, not I'm really not saying they shouldn't bit. be allowed to take those orders. But, when but you I want mine them, first. When you I was standing here. I want my two hamburgers <laughs> for $6. It makes me so Just mad. Just ketchup. What's the problem? Here's exact change. Man. There's Let's, so many good things to put on Imagine burgers, paying in Jeff. cash still. I can't believe this uh, entire thing hasn't been do. cash out of people. Of course you do. You want to give COVID to everyone. No, I use cash though. For You're just like, oh, still use cash? Here's your cash. Oh, yeah. Nobody uses cash anymore. Well, again, this shows you again just how out of touch you are. Just because a lot of people your age doesn't use it doesn't mean that a ton of you, people. You realize don't use cash. that, like, we're getting old, right? Drug dealers yeah, right. use cash. Yeah. That's like the only people who use cash I'm anymore. I'm closer to 40. Than I'm closer anything. to 40 than 30. Yeah, like, like exactly. So, I'm not. So yes, Tim, you're right. People in their 60s are not doing that. Like my mom doesn't use cash anymore. My dad does. My dad can't figure out a fucking phone to save his life. He's like 53. My mom's 52. She pays with, with her Apple Pay because she's like somewhat with it. Uh, my grandma uses. I was Apple in Pay line at too. Starbucks this morning, uh, in the in the in the car, and the person in front of me, I saw them reach their phone out to scan it to pay, and that's I was the, just so that, annoyed. That's the only way I pay for things. I was like, oh, I don't even need to bring so my annoyed. wallet with me anymore. Is have my phone well, my. Phone. Well, anyway, I just, I was annoyed by it. Why? Paying with your phone is optimal because you're not actually touching anything besides your phone and you don't actually have to tap it on anything. You can just hover it. It's actually no contact. And well, you the, don't need the, to bring 8,000 cards with you everywhere. Well, I only have a couple of cards anyway. How many cards do you have? How many credit cards do you have? Just one. Why do you only have one? What if that one goes out? Well, I only need one. You, you, need, one. you need to have your back. You need to have your two depending on what you're buying so you can maximize the points for it. Additionally, you need a third to keep around that you don't use you use once every three months to keep it active but in case because it happened to me at christmas one year that both of my credit cards got i lost one one got compromised i didn't have a credit card anymore so you need the third one to go along and if you can store them on your phone then you don't actually have to bring them anywhere with you i'm old-fashioned i like to bring my you're not old-fashioned tim you're the youngest person as a part of this show okay you could live in the now it's so funny he is the youngest person by what multiple year the, years. What year, was, what, what year was the coin minted? <laughs> what year was the coin minted? I have no idea. The coin might be younger than I am. They always say it's a part of the show. It's probably younger. I'll say 1994. You. There you go. But the coin doesn't use cash because that would be like self-mutilation. <laughs> true just like that hateful mr peanut new character who you know advertises eating his own kind oh bart bart's legit people yeah, love bart awful. people are buying i started to see bart. cans with his photo on them i was so angry um I, I very briefly i wanted to ask you guys this what should i get for my new year's eve meal my wife and i are thinking about this we don't know what to get we usually get mexican every single year what haven't you had in a long time? Why not? Yeah. Support local, get a nice meal. Me and my wife were talking about that too, ironically. I like Chinese food for New Year's Eve. I mean, I, I know that... I want to yeah. have wine, and I don't think you can drink wine with Chinese food. Of course you can. I just don't think it's a good mix for me. I don't like it. Foie I don't gras. Like, I think you... Yeah, Paul? I think foie like gras, that's your, that's your jam. You I love do that. love foie gras. Get, get that for it. You but make it special. Have this, something you don't uh, usually have. But I, I eat all the stuff I want all the time. If I feel like I want to have something to eat, I'll get that mm. to eat. Well, I was thinking about going I, the other way with it. Like you said, just getting a pizza or something. I was just about to say, go to pizza. We were talking about it. I don't want to go to pizza. Good God. 
you know what I mean, like order from there. That doesn't feel like New Year's enough. That's the one problem. But if it's something different, not, uh, something you don't usually have, like I think that, that's a kind of cool idea. I also don't want to do drink. something you wouldn't we, usually get. We, we bought a nice bottle of wine. I'm not going to drink a bottle of wine eating pizza. Well, was it white or red? It's red, Tim. I'm not. I'm not like 13 years old. Well, it depends. Some foods you can't have red wine with. You would be an amateur if you had. Like if you ate chicken and you had red wine, like you'd be laughed out of a nice restaurant. But when we no point, sommelier when we, in the world would tell you that red wine goes better with chicken than white. Yeah, but listen, not Tim, a single I, sommelier I, worth his salt. Do you know any sommeliers? Are you a sommelier? Do you don't think I've studied and read about wine and winemaking and learn about these things? Of course I have. I haven't because I really like champagne. Of course I, I have. Why, why, why would you read up on wine? Because <laughs> yeah, well, I like to learn about all you, kinds of you, things. You don't know that I've read up on this. <laughs> I like to learn about all the. I have a mind like a sponge that likes to learn and read about everything. You don't know, how are you so wrong about You don't know everything? that I'm a self-proclaimed expert on winemaking? Although I don't <laughs> drink I'm wine. No, I'm no expert. I'm no expert on it. But and I know what, what I know I'm telling you is that you're wrong on this. Well, I'm telling you that you're wrong on this. Well, I'm right. I, I think the, okay. tra the track record of me being right versus you being right, people are going to side with me. Okay, that's fine. Let the people decide. But you also said that wine was just okay with Chinese food. You can have wine with Chinese food. It wouldn't be the... Per I mean, there are probably some beautiful rice wines that would go delicious with Chinese food. I don't want any fucking rice wine. Are you kidding me? I don't know. Okay. Well. I mean, you don't even know what the difference is between these. You don't drink wine. I do on occasion. You don't. You say, okay, you say you drink champagne, and you said that uh, you only drink bottles of champagne that are at, le at least Dom level. So you drink at least $300 no, no. bottles of champagne. That, you no, that's that, like, not true. Moet is not Dom level. Moet is not Dom level. How much does it cost per Moet bottle? Nice. Like 75 bucks. And so that's perfectly nice. That's the cheapest you would ever go, correct? Well, if I was just going to drink it on its own. Like if I was making mimosas or baking with it, then I mean, you can go cheaper ones. It's fine. And how often do you drink champagne? A few times a year. So twice a year? The expert? Eh, probably three or four times a year. I like it. I like champagne. And how often do you drink white wine? A couple times a year. Red wine? A couple times a year. See, I don't believe you. I like rosés too on occasion. Do you? When was the last time you had a rosé? I have a rosé in the fridge right now that I bought. When was the last the time you had a rosé? I don't know, but I'm about to have one soon. Mm -hmm. it seems like you're lying about this stuff. Just like when you I'm said not. you clicked on the Amazon link, which we know you didn't I do. did, and there was absolutely nothing for me. Mm -hmm. Why would I continue to complain and whine about it if I had found it? Because you complained about it going in, and this would ruin your narrative. No, no, I don't. I could care less about my narrative. I care about being able to see the things I want to see. Yeah, with, with ease. Like, I would be annoyed if I could watch it, like, within one click on Amazon, but I wouldn't have brought up a whole thing about it. Jeff, what do you think? I'm thinking about other things. Is it about what to get on New Year's Eve? No, it's... Is it, it about Tua again? No, it's it's about... <laughs> it's about is it about a Herbert card? That that game is going to end Sunday, and then it's just like me... Staring at the refresh for like Schefter and Rappaport tweets about my coach. Uh, unless they win, no, he's then you don't have to worry job. about that. No, I don't. The decision's been made. I don't him? think Sunday. Yeah. No, no. Okay. The decision has been made. Winning, Either way. Yeah, I don't think winning or losing Sunday alters a decision like that. Jets win by thirty. They keep Gase. No. Are you sure? Zero zero point yeah, zero zero. At this point, they've just given him the dignity of finishing out the year. Why are they giving him the dignity? If they hate his guts so much, because he hasn't like it's easier to clean out the office on Monday than it is today with other people around. Like he hasn't done anything so egregious, I guess, in their opinion, that like he needs to no, go. No, they've made him they've made him steer this that like this captain of the Titanic. Like they're just exactly saying, You're he, going, needs to, he needs to land this place. Yeah, you're just landing it, pal. We're not letting you out early. We're not paying you to go to Cabo. You're just it's dignified. It is just a, it's you, if you can, you like to give your coach the dignity of finishing out the year, or do it Carolina to get rid of Ron Rivera to give him a head start on the jobs for the next year. I yeah, to my understanding, goal. there is such it's such big business. There's so much behind the scenes. Foundations are laid, even if a man is employed. All right, next games: Packers and Bears. Green Bay is favored by five in Chicago. Both teams need to win. 50 and a half is the over-under. Green Bay has got to win this game by a bunch, right? 
just to save the Bears fans from themselves of re-signing Trubisky, who's put up... They're on my money line parlay. Who's put up video game numbers against, like, the four worst teams in the league. Yeah, I couldn't have been... I can't be... I don't think there's a team I've been more wrong about all season than Chicago in every direction. I can't seem to figure them out whatsoever. But yeah, you would You've figure it out the there Packers after playing a good team. They lost to Tampa I two still months think, ago. I still think the Packers are going to be in tough come the playoffs. I I don't think they're going to win this, the NFC, put it that way, even though they're likely to have... Uh, and when they win this game, they will have home field. But you know, I've seen better Packers teams than this go out earlier than the, the championship game. So, so a team that know. you saw in 2012 has a lot of impact on what you're talking about right now? No, but I'm just saying Rodgers was coaching that team. Whatever year they went 15 and one and they got bounced straight away I, by I the Giants. I don't think Rodgers coaches the team. I'm not sure though. Or quarterback the team. Sorry. Uh, anyway, I'm just saying whatever. Green Bay's fought. They're a very good team. They're a very good team. Are they the best team in the NFC? If you, I, I would pick. I would not pick them. Sorry, I just. Who I just would you would. pick? Uh, Tampa. Well, I'm sticking with Tampa because I'm not switching. I'm. I might, right, why? Why? I why? Why, why, why change? Why you change can, your opinion? You can pick to say Tampa's my pick to win the NFC while saying no, no, I don't no, no, think that I they're the any, best I, team. No, no, because I. You just saw an hour or so ago. What happens if I say anything different than what I said before? The opportunities for credit have been t- would be taken from me. So I refuse to give any quarter to that. Uh, I want my full credit when Tampa Bay wins uh, the NFC. And so I'm like, not going to deviate. So like every year, it's going to turn into a situation where Tampa's like going to lose in the first round. Then he'll pick a new team. And then that team well, will at that lose. Point, then then, 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 then he'll pick a new team. And then that yeah, team will lose. I'll, then he'll pick a new team. That team will lose. Then he'll get to the Super Bowl. And he might pick that one right and be like, see, I was right all along. That's that's what you do. Well, I'm hoping that that will not happen. Can we can we put in, in game, Tampa? Right. Tampa is your pick to win the Super yes. Bowl. Once Tampa is out, no, no, you, you get no more picks. Can well, you can you do just, that? I think it would be very hard for me. Why would it be hard that. for you? Your pick is out. You just abstain. Because uh, I then I'd want to make new picks. Why? So you can get credit it, for things that you just jumped on at the very last second. Whatever. It's just I maybe it's just like a weird idiosyncratic uh, tick that I have that I like to make picks. I don't know. In this game. Yeah, Chicago's played some bad teams and taken advantage of those bad teams. Uh, they even managed to lose one of those games against a bad team. But yeah, they're playing a good, a very good team. And yeah, I, I expect Trubisky to play poorly, turn into a pumpkin. This, you know, the Packers a couple of years ago went into Soldier Field with the Bears having a chance to make the playoffs, and the Packers knocked them out. The Bears don't have like some special sauce for being home against Green Bay, in my opinion. Packers are on the money line parlay. I like the Packers here. Jeff. I am hammer fisting the Packers mainly because I'll tell you what I did yesterday morning. Um, Dan Bach, yep. Roto Grinder, mm-hmm. he put out there to, to go check your books because some of them have still left MVP lines up that are soft. I annihilated a Rogers minus 160 to win MVP yesterday. Um, it was to like minus 350 within two hours after I made the bet. I believe it is stone cold his. Winning this game would only absolutely solidify it. There's a number one seed on the line. I am mesmerized by Rodgers and the Packers this year. Uh, uh, Not even so much the Packers. Aaron Rodgers, specifically, I am mesmerized by his greatness. Shocked he's the MVP. He's going to get it. He's not having the best season. I, he's probably going to get it, but he's, he's not going to get it. Shouldn't. Mahomes is he doesn't deserve it. Mahomes, Mahomes, Mahomes is the is best su- player Mahomes on the such, planet. Mahomes is such a victim of being too good. And he's the having a better winning, year than Rodgers. The Chiefs winning these tight games, sort of not playing, just keeping inferior opponents around in football games. Rodgers, uh, for for as much as, as there's a, a, a icy relationship between him and probably a lot of people who get the vote, as I tweeted today, Pat, this to me is one of the greatest accomplishments in modern football. And then you said, you know who's not going to win MVP? Tua. I didn't make any comment like that. Someone even <laughs> said, someone even tweeted me that Herbert deserves votes. And I said, you're crazy. Not even fifth place. Um, so I, I, I mean place, that. Though? No, I don't know. I don't even know if it goes back. But Aaron Rodgers, to do what he did this season, to win an MVP without every fiber of an organization having your back. And that goes beyond draft capital. That goes beyond draft capital. That goes to from the fucking janitor to the to the guy at the very, very top. The fiber of the organization does not support him like he, they should in every single way. And he's overcome it all. 
and been I am mesmerized by what he can do. Um, Mahomes has turned into LeBron. Yeah, and where, other guys win MVPs, but it's acknowledged he's the best player on yeah, the planet. It's, it's really strange because you look at Mahomes, who I think he's still thrown for like 500 yeah. more yards than Rodgers at this point, uh, and they have the better record, don't they? Yeah, they do have the better it's record. By two games. In the, by two in, games. In the, in the tougher conference, but it's, wow, look at the, like, look at the rebound. Look how they support Patrick Mahomes. And no, but it's not even that. It's Patrick Mahomes is so good. He should he should have thrown for 6,000 yards. Yeah. Like, it, it, what he doesn't do is held against him where everyone else is 100%. Just... And then there's the little Honestly, factors. Honestly, Josh Allen's having a better season than Rodgers. I would the, vote for the Allen. Little the little factors that, that, that do come up is, yes, the, the Chiefs make every effort to improve that offense, invest first-round picks into um, getting players that can help them now. The Bills go out and make moves to get a tier one wide receiver. The Packers do not support their man. And we're talking and, about the Packers have a better receiver than anyone Kansas City has. The Packers have a top tier running back. The Packers, the Packers, the idea that the cupboard is somehow bare in Green Bay. I didn't Bay. say it's bare. Rogers it's is not like, bare. I'm saying they do not support him to the levels that I don't the know others that that's start. True. I, it's I know. exponentially true. It is they, exponentially I think that's true. They drafted love. They drafted love. To, to light a fire underneath Aaron Rodgers. And may, Best move you can do in the first round. I don't want to take anything away from Aaron Rodgers. He's having an he's excellent good, Neither year. do I. He's playing well. And, playing and very just well. the way that just perception helps create how these awards play out, he is going to take... Um, Unless they lose this game. This award. If they lose this game, I guess I would be um, uh, nervous about the hammer fist that, that I put on the M MVP. And like I said all the time, going back... Over a year into to talking about the love pick, Aaron Rodgers is a goddamn elephant. He remembers every bad thing anyone ever wrote about him, and he's got your name on a list. Got my name on a list. Well, not exactly, but you know what I mean. Or he just doesn't care. He no, just, there's he, not a he chance just makes, he, he just makes you think. There is no. I like that. I like that you know him personally. There is no, but Rodgers does. There seem is not him. a you, chance. You, you say he seems like this. No, Once again, you guys are just saying right. you have absolutely well, no, no you, idea. There's I'll a make any bet. Who Let's do know go. Him. Sure, there's dude. a million Maybe. reporters who do know him. So and all the reporters doesn't have the exact even talk to his family. He's got a vindictive fucking soul. I don't talk to my family. You'd be there for Christmas if you could. I sure I would be. But I, I'm not the one who's worth $300 million, and they're trying to leech <laughs> off of me. Okay, maybe. I'm just saying it's a vindictive soul. Uh, I, I have My no brother's not the that. one going on The Bachelor trying to, like, scrape my Aaron credit. Aaron Rodgers is the only super elite quarterback that ex-teammates come out and rip. It's so weird. It's so weird. I think we've been down this road before. I think you're just projecting. You, you actually, I'm projecting oh, I, Greg Jennings and a slew of other yeah, ex-Packers yeah, comments? not projecting because... Ex players and reporters who talk to him all the time all have the same story. At some point, you have enough circumstantial evidence to say this is what's going on. Is, is that yeah, how is that, that is, is that be, is that how we do it now, Tim? He's the man. He's MVP. I'm well, not so, <laughs> as, as Thoreau used to say. Some circumstantial evidence is better than others, such as when you find a trout in the milk. Like some <laughs> things are just obvious. Who said that? Uh, Thoreau used to say that. Uh, like it, some circumstantial evidence, in other words, are just better than others. All right, if you find the turtle on the fence post, you don't he know how does, he got there, but you know he didn't get there himself. He does That's his the whole weekly point. hit with McAfee, and it's great. McAfee? McAfee. And part of the reason McAfee. it's so great is Rogers McAfee tees him up to be like, oh, this guy said this or that. He's just ready, man. Rogers is ready. I think the big difference between Aaron Rodgers and most NFL players is Rogers seems legitimately smart. 100% and as we said I think he is very smart. And, and, I, we, and I think that makes him distant from a, You it, could be right. It's a lot like Rajon Rondo in the NBA. I do see what you're saying. There's like a higher intelligence that than like, average football guy. And even the it's reporters not, well, I think that's the part It's not like that Brady Man has too. It's not like Peyton Manning football smart. Aaron Rodgers seems like actually smart. Okay, like he's football I smart and Cal is a very intelligent school. Yes. Yeah, it is. Uh, I mean Cal's all over the place. Sure. <laughs> I agree with you. And as we said early in the season, Pat, I don't know whether it's you. We noticed that the no crowd, like his ability to, to, to hear every, to make full communication home or road with his linemates and receivers and hearing defensive calls, the guy shredded this entire year. Shredded. Mahomes, Allen, world-class. MVP votes for years to come. 
Rogers Trophy. I, I can see it. I mean, that's why he's now like minus three fifty. But you said yeah, it looks like it's going to happen. You, you said Brady. I don't know if Brady's like real life smart or I, not. Brady is supl- sublimely uh, intelligent. Absolutely, he is. Uh, one of the reasons I think he doesn't get enough credit for just how smart he is, uh, both in a football sense and in a, in a real life sense. Uh, I really do. I think he's an incredibly smart guy. He's very football smart, that's for sure. But yeah, I, I can see a situation where Rodgers, being a smart guy, that doesn't necessarily play well in an NFL locker room. You're you're probably... Or in sports in general. It, that makes sense. I see where you're coming and from. And that would make him seem distant, although he's just probably being him. But why, but, but why was Peyton Manning given such like a level of respect? You say he's football smart, I think and he's, he's football more smart. like... A, because Peyton and, 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 and Peyton's also far more hick than you think. Oh, agree. There's no it's just like Marvin Harrison is far more hard and, than people thought. But Peyton actually Peyton worked wasn't to dating an Olivia Munn, a Danica Patrick. He didn't. He, he also Peyton wasn't winning Jeopardy either. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Rogers is the man. And there was a perfect. Uh, there's you know a perfect, Ryan Fitzpatrick though went to Harvard. I don't know if you knew. That. <laughs> He seems like a more of a man of the people, though. I actually do agree with that. Just because he's Ivy League doesn't mean he's not. But he also wasn't the best either. No, but like no he's means. a career backup. He's a journeyman player. That's that brings you to a different level of what you're supposed to be. Rogers, basically, since the moment he started playing in the NFL, has been widely known as the best. Co- basically, essentially, after five seasons, the debate was: Is Aaron Rodgers the best quarterback of all time? Now he's not. But I mean, your a- contention is that. People treat Rodgers the way that f- golf fans treat Bryson. Yes. And maybe that's You know true. what? That is a very good comparison. And maybe that's and true. And you know what? Bryson doesn't actually seem like a bad guy whatsoever. No, he doesn't. It's just people don't I, I like think him. Bryson's actually a much, much more I think Aaron Rodgers is far more self-aware of what he puts out there and what he's saying, even when he knows it's going to cause a stir, than Bryson. Maybe. Or maybe they just both don't care. I They're agree. No, no, I, I think that's right, though. Bryson would not have didn't make his comments about Augusta being a par sixty seven to like be nasty. He just didn't even appreciate the as the words are coming out of his mouth. How yeah, dumb I guess, it. yeah, I agree with that. Rogers would say it in a Brooks Kepka way, like yes, watch, exactly. watch, watch Feinberg freak the fuck out when I say you know, this. It's not, like when 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 uh, you know when Rogers would say relax, R E L A X. That's like Brooks saying I don't practice golf isn't hard. I, I, I again, I've said it five times. I'll say it a six. I am mesmerized by by Rogers this year. And yes, it is probably overrated the extent of the actual roster help. O line, one of the best in the league. Aaron Jones, one of the best in the league. Um, Devontae Adams, a superstar. And from that, Rogers can make everyone else look great. I don't care. Incredible. And a lot of the pers- it's funny because they went to the NFC Championship game last year. It's just everyone thought they yep. were bad. But last they year. didn't help them. They drafted a backup. Or not a backup. I don't well, know. Well, it's just they so overachieved last year. They're actually good. Their their performance on the field matches their record this year. Where last year it just didn't. Yes, agreed. And I was hard Correct. on them and picked on them. Tim, before we move off this, I want to just ask you a question. Who okay. would you rather have? Darnold or Trubisky? The unknown of what Jordan Love represents or Tua? Well, I would rather the unknown of Love at the moment. I think that's crazy. I agree with you, Pat. I'm still not there, and I, I don't. I have no idea if Jordan Love is good or not. But you gotta, you got as someone that I, wanted I, to on draft day, I'm not about to say I want Jordan Love over him today, despite hyper alarming things I've seen. A couple I do of think times. that. I mean, Jeff and I are out here playing good cop, bad cop on Tua every week, but our positions who, who are the same. I, I'm usually Jeff still is bad the good cop. cop. No, I acknowledge. I, I, I just try to come back to reality a bit more than you. I try to center myself. Knowing no, my position I'm, has been simple, and I feel like I haven't been disproven yet, which is that I don't think he's all that good. I thought he was improved by the uh, the, 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 the skill position players at, at Alabama were marvelous and pumped him up more than he was. But, one, but once again, Miami, Sam Darnold gets a month named after him for performing <laughs> worse than Tua with fewer wins. I, but he's good. Remember, I just don't get the line of, I mean, you can have your argument and play, you, the, the criticisms of Sam, which are many are just not the t- same type of criticisms 
uh, because they don't but play but, but someone they're both to play bad, But like they're both by the numbers objectively bad. Yeah, but they, their problems are different problems. Like, I think that's they're both, but they're both bad. I you're am, saying that well, Donald is good because he won two games in a row. I would probably take heat for this because it's the thing I've gone back to with Sam. Is that you see it? No, you the see ceiling it. plays. He's so good. I saw way more through nine yeah. or eight games no. ceiling plays from Sam out of the gate than I have from Tua. But the structure around Tua. How about, I, you don't yeah, need to how, how feel about this? it, I guess. You don't what, need to rush the, into seeing it. What about the downside plays? That is true. The floor on Tua seems... And like I said, when you're only asked to be a game manager... Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Why, why agreed. do you do more? Agreed. The floor there... And not that I want to come and, to Tua's defense, thing. but I think Chan Gailey is incompetent and well, should not be in charge of the offense. Well, I assume that's the common theme in Dolphins Reddit, is and that, that floor, the, the play calling... Is essentially and that, that's, designing that's a two-yard pass. That's Flores's fault for hiring this guy. That was a, I think a bad hire, and uh, he deserves some criticism for that. Was I mean, that the first year of Gailey? Second. second. I don't know if he was second. there last year. I or mean, not. just look at this. They can move on from that though if what, they want. They ought to. What they should really do. I mean, he hasn't been very good this year, but you know, Tua kind of reminds me of at this point, Goff. Like, like rookie uh, Jeff Fisher Goff? Is that what you're talking about? No, like about? Jared Goff like right now, who's not good. <laughs> I got so... See, you think you make this about me and hating Tua, which I guess is partially true. I legitimately was looking for Alex Smith information on Sunday morning via Twitter, and 98% of the Sunday searches I made were from last night comparing Tua to Alex Smith. If Tua can be Alex Smith, he's going to be really good in the NFL. You're right. Unfortunately, and maybe this is a good thing because it's early, he looks more like, that stat line looked like a Tyrod Taylor game. Minus yeah. the running. Taylor's more mobile. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But they're not asking Tua. The fact that they're not asking Tua to basically run at all, I feel like there's something, like, they're not fully committed to the fact that he's 100 percent healthy, maybe, or they or they think and he's he, in a very high risk of being re-injured if he puts himself he out play. too much. No, but then he shouldn't it, play. But they also want to see what they have in him too. Okay, that's all They've fair. Seen it now. And They've I would agree. Games, there's, there's now. maybe Benching. it's also a well. We've seen three years of Darnold, and he fucking sucks. <laughs> but you're still on board. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I, I, I just, I just don't get how you can question. argue one side and then argue the other side. I, I mean, I, I just hope the listeners are re- appreciate the the sort of clever prestidigitation that's going on here. Or instead of actually answering my questions, Pat just wants to deflect and talk about something else rather no, than no, the subject. No, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to understand, because I've been, I think, the most objective with Tua out of all of us, that I don't get triggered by him 24-7. He hasn't been good. But I understand why they're playing him, because they want to see what they have. And I don't, think that eight, I don't think that eight games for a guy that wasn't supposed to play this year was enough. And I keep telling you that I've seen enough of Darnold. He's not good. Everyone kind of agrees. He sucks. But, you're but, also, but according to Tim, he's great. But you. But are, I, that's why I don't understand okay, one argument but you, versus the other argument. But, but to throw it on you, kind of, and I understand the injury is a big factor here. And mentally, he's got to come to grips that Alabama Open and NFL Open are two different things. And he's got to find his comfort zone. But you yes. say this more than anybody, more than anybody, Pat, is either you got to, if they can play, they can play. Throw them out there. We've Agreed. seen it. Like, we, you just got to, you'll know. You'll know. If they can play, they can play. That was like your whole thing with like, when I'm like, no, we got to start Tyrod this year. If the kid can play, you've seen enough football. You just, you, you kind of know quickly if they can play. I think the Texans forced their hand. By because of bad. having this pick. By being bad out of the gate. I think they started 0-4. That it sent like shockwaves. Oh, we have to know what we, we got. We have to know right now. And if we don't know, we could really cost ourselves here. Two chances at having a really good quarterback is almost worth than Finding drafting a- like a guy that's going to start. I, as weird as, right? And I mean, Arizona. And, and, took, and, and how far Rosen are you going with Fitzpatrick? Right you know you're not. But they're not are they're not drafting another quarterback to cut bait on Tua like oh, I think Rosen. They, oh, I think they would. Oh. If they draft a quarterback with number three, Tua's gone. I agree. You can't take another quarterback and keep Tua. It's just like see to me, it's more like Rosen. doubling your chances of trying to hit goals. No, I don't think that's so. what I no. I if think. No, no one, no, no you're one saying if you're if if, if if Tua's gonna be on your team, you give him support with like him. the same one I'm talking about Rod like. Full every fiber of the organization has to be. And fully- honestly, if I were Brian Dable, I coached him in college. I would probably want him. I think I could probably 
reclaim who, him. Who are we talking about? Dayball. Wherever Tua, wherever Debo goes, take Tua because he coached him. He was his OC when they won a championship. So Debo has Saban, Bilicek, pedigree. Now he goes out on his own outside of his tree and is succeeding. Oh my God! Please God, give me him. Who is the most successful Belichick acolyte? Is it Flores? It's gotta be like not even close. Brian. Bill O'Brien got by for a Bill little O'Brien bit. Bill O'Brien made multiple playoff appearances. But it's never, Flores. Did, I guess he won one last year, didn't he? Or but did there's, he a beat re- the Raiders. there's a Raiders reputation that he's, a, that he's a goddamn idiot. Oh, they so. beat the Dalvin Cook Jr. at quarterback. Bill right? O'Brien. Yeah, whoever, yeah. Oh. Was yeah, it so Kubiak they, the, the, who got to the playoffs with all those like also-ran Texan quarterbacks? Well, Kubiak won the Super Bowl with Denver. No, but Kub- like, who was the guy starting like T.J. Yates and, and Mallett? It was like in playoff that, that was Kubiak with Schwab, yeah. with Shaw. Yeah. And then, and then it was TJ Yates. Yeah. That's when they beat the, the Bengals in a first round game. So Green Bay for all of us? <laughs> yeah. I, I, yes. Yeah. And they said Green Bay's on the money line. All right. Oh, Green Bay's on the money line. All right. Let's speed this up here. Speed round. I could be quick. Uh, Tennessee in Houston. Houston is a seven and a half point dog at home. Uh, Tennessee win and they're in. They win the division if they win. If they lose, they could still technically miss the playoffs. If the Dolphins, Ravens, and Colts all win, Tennessee is out. I believe that's how it works. Yeah, the Browns too, I think. And in the Browns, correct. If they're one of the teams, but they should probably win this game. But I'm going to take Houston against the spread because they burn me every week when I take them. And uh, why, why stop now? One of these teams has to lose, right? One of the you figure they're not all going to win, are they? And the Texans have been so close every week. I don't know. Seems like too many points in the in in Houston. I'm wagging a finger at this one. I'm going to take the Texans. Make it a hat trick. This could be on the super lock. Houston seven and a I get half. It. I get it. One of the worst run defenses in the league. Not great playing, but I'll, you know what? Green Bay has one of the run worst run defenses in the league. So. But apparently this line was like five last week and it's jumped to seven and a half. Maybe really? the Titans, n- the Titans, desperation needed I, I bet losing the t- to the Bengals. The, the Titans were my super lock last week and they, they were not good. No, all. sir. Right, let's keep going. New Orleans and Carolina, New Orleans wins and Green Bay loses and Seattle wins. They're the number one seed. Uh, it's a lot of things to happen. Panthers spunky last week against the footballs. And the week before against the Packers. The, the Panthers. Here's the thing, though. Much like Houston and much like Green Bay, Carolina can't stop the run. We're not getting Christian McCaffrey here. I'm going to take the Saints on the road. The Saints have been an yeah. excellent road team, by the way. I am taking the Saints with you, Pat. I just want to big up the Panthers. Um, new coaching staff with the COVID. Incredible challenges there. An incredibly, and lost McCaffrey. Incredibly young defense that had a lot of high-end draft capital but the system, you could tell they're finally clicking. That great second half versus the Packers last week. I know it was a Haskins game, but between Derek Brown and Chin and a couple other high-end draft picks there, um, it was kind of said, I remember hearing around like week 12 when they were really struggling defensively that that the amount of rookies and a new scheme and not a proper offseason really hurt them defensively more than anything. But now late in the year, there's a comfort level there. Um, Tim won't want to do it. I, I again, Matt Rule, props. I'm excited about him. I wish he was a Charger coach. He'll get Coach of the Year votes this year, I think. Uh, the one thing I don't like about Carolina in terms of against I'm taking New sport, Orleans, though. Yeah, yeah I, me, you, and the coin so far on New Orleans. A, as am I, and the Saints are on the money line, tees, uh, Parley. Um, and maybe this continues, but Carolina's been doing a lot of defensive scoring recently. They got a special teams punt something. Punt week. block, touchdown. I think they scored two. Was it against Minnesota? Maybe they didn't get one in the Packer game, but they were humming in that second half. But they had two defensive scores like three weeks ago. Like it's they've been they've been not sustainable. Yeah. And they've been pretty good though. But you know, the Saints look like they're kind of getting everything back. They're gonna I'm very curious to see what this team if Michael Thomas is actually healthy, because he's eligible to come off the IR the first week of the playoffs, or whenever they play their first playoff game, then. Well, maybe that they've been kind of sandbagging all year. Because the defense, certainly. maybe. I mean, the defense would looked, have to go the defense looked bad against Minnesota when they were up by thirty. So who really cares? Jacksonville and Indianapolis. Indy needs to win and avenge their Week One loss that knocked Jeff out of Eliminator. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're favored by fourteen and a half. Forty nine and a half is the over under. I assume Glennon's starting. Jags know how to tank, Jeff. 
Yeah, you, uh, take, oh, Colts need it. There's almost this is about a half point higher than I really wished it was, but I gotta take the Colts. Don't think James Robinson is playing either. Thinking he might be shut down for Jacksonville. Although I actually like Jacksonville to cover in this game. I think they're live on the money line too. Now that they can't lose the number one pick, watch them come out. Yeah, firing. but even when they could, they lost by going for two point conversions in two games in a row and nearly won. So they were fighting hard the whole way. Or, so I, I've or, they, or did they go for the two to make sure. That they didn't win. No. Oh, that Houston no, game is that I don't we're talking so. about? They were so weird. That Mi- game. Minnesota, too? I'll, I'll yeah, there's two games in a row. Wins. I'm going to take the Colts, but I don't love it. And I really hope they lose. You really hope they lose? If I could pick anyone to miss yeah. out, it's the Titans. And then the Dolphins. Yeah, but you you have, yeah, but that's a friend That's a divisional. friend division. <laughs> Yeah, I, I get that. I get where you're, you're <laughs> headed. But the Colts right now, to me, the way they threw that game wing against Pittsburgh, uh, sh- shame on them. That That's a black mark. Seattle and San Francisco, the Niners are five and a half point is, dogs uh, at home. 46 is the over under. Seattle can be the one seed if the Packers lose and the Saints win. If it's a three way tie, it goes no, to the Seahawks. No, no. It's if a, it's a Packers, yeah. If, 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 it's, it's, a three three way, tie, if it's a three way tie, it goes, goes to, to the, the Saints, doesn't it? No, it goes to the Seahawks with a three-way tie. It goes to the Seahawks if it's Seahawks, Sea Saints, and Seahawks Packers. It goes to the Saints if it's Saints Packers. No, I, if no, I, if no, I no, 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 no. Packers have the tie break on the Saints, so Packers would get. Correct. If it's a three-way Saints, tie, if it's a three-way tie, the Saints get it. No, I think the Saints only get it if it's them and the Seahawks because they beat them head to head. But head to head doesn't count when it's three teams and they haven't all played each other. If if the Seahawks win and the Saints win and the Packers lose, they all have the same record, right? I think at that point the Seahawks go in. No, I believe that's how the Saints get the number one seed. Because if the Seahawks lose and the Packers lose and the Saints win, the Saints then are the are tied with the Packers only, and they would lose in that scenario. Correct. So if it's a three way well, tie, it has to be the Saints. Well, like I said, the head to head between Seattle and well, they didn't play each other. Exactly. So, so if the Saints lose and the Packers lose and the Seahawks win, the Seahawks get the one seed over the Packers. Okay, you may be yeah, fair enough. Maybe, I'll, I'll stipulate that. Although I can I, tell you, I never entered a playoff machine this year. Me neither. I, I did several times, but I guess I didn't remember this one. Anyway, yeah, I like the Seahawks yeah, here, you even were though still, the Niners. the Jets were zero nine. You were waiting for machines to come out to figure out their path. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Niners are very dangerous. Here. I assume this game's in Arizona. I couldn't remember if this last one's in Arizona or not. I believe it is. Uh, I think it is. Uh, the Niners played great last week in Arizona. They didn't have to travel, but I still think the Seahawks win it. Uh, but be careful. I'm not putting on any money line parlays. This is a be careful game. I don't know what to make of it. I get San Francisco wrong every single week. When I think that they're going to be frisky, they lose by 30. When I think they're cooked, they end up just winning games. Worried about Seattle's offense? Not quite as dynamic. No, as they scored was. forty a couple of weeks ago against two, the Jets. Great, they 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 played an AFL team. Congratulations. Like I'm not worried. I'm not wor- put it this way. I'm not worried about them. And the Rams have an excellent defense. So do the Niners. And, uh, I agree, which is why I think this game is no gimme. But I think that the Rams defense is a little better. Anyway. Be as it is it may, I like Seattle here. I'll take the 49ers. I like Seattle. The 49ers played a prime, a standalone game on Amazon Prime. Which no one saw, week. according no to No one team. saw it, but that was their tank empty year. This one, they're going to, Seattle, get some things going. Yeah. Isn't 49, aren't the 49ers resting, guys? Why? Just because? I, I didn't see that, but you could be correct. Arizona and the Rams? The Rams are favored by a point and a half. 39 and a half is the over-under. Goff is out. I don't know who this jabroni playing quarterback is. But he's, probably better, he's probably better than Goff, so that helps. Uh, and Kyler might not play for Arizona. I yeah, bet it's he does. the CFL I, guy, I, Strevler. Doug Flutie? No. Or Jeff Garcia? Those <laughs> Strevler. Are the, those are the only two quarterbacks in the history of the CFL, I think. Anthony Calvillo. Oh, yeah. Calvillo. Forgot about him. And that guy that went to the I Chiefs that time, Pringle. Casey Pringle. Prin- Casey Printers. Yeah, Printers. I like uh, I, I, I like the uh, the Rams here. I don't know. The Cardinals look like they're in some real trouble. Well, of course they have to. If, but if the Cardinals win, they're in. 
I like the Rams. Correct. And if the Rams, like, and the Rams might get bounced from the playoffs here and not hit that over under Jeff. Well, but they no, only I've get bounced lost. if the Bears also win. Who? Yes, if the Bears win, yeah. So if Arizona That's wins, the, but if Arizona wins, they're in, correct? Correct. If they're they lose, in with a double, if they yeah. lose, they're out. No, that if Arizona wins and Chicago wins, then Chicago's in and Arizona is oh, no, no, in, no, 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 and you're right. then the Rams are out. Yeah, then the Rams are out. You're you're right. You're you're right about that. You're right about that. But they I couldn't like, flex this one into prime time because the Bears game would be depending on how they would play. I like Arizona. Uh, I'm not going to trust a backup quarterback. I think Kyler gives <laughs> it a go in this spot. Has to. Season's on the line. Back, if I he mean, can if, play, if, he's if, if play. If he can't play, you can't play. Remember, I James, mean, if he's legitimately injured. Like, remember, then remember no. what was it? The Packers Bears NFC Championship game that people were getting mad at Jay Cutler because he he didn't play when he could barely walk. And they're like, yeah, you know what? It's probably better that Chase Daniel goes into the game. Because I can't. Yeah, I can't imagine. Out. I can't imagine your team in the championship game though, and your best player just not playing. That well, would be if you can't play, he can't play. Yeah. If so if Kyler can't team, play, he's not going to play. For the whole I game. sat there. I sat in the fucking upper bowl <laughs> of Foxborough, Tim, at an AFC championship, watching Ladanian take a snap and then Darth Vader himself to the fucking sidelines. You can't play. You can't play. Okay. Fair enough. I do. Would you would you prefer a thirty percent player in the game who might not only hurt your chances to win this game? No, 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 no. I get it, but I expect him to play. Put it that way. And I like the Rams to win the game. I think the Rams' defense is enough. The Cardinals have been unimpressive for several weeks, and I'm not impressed. The Rams are down both starting running backs. Although Cam Akers might be back this week, and their starting quarterback. It's a tough scene. And Cooper Cup is on the COVID list now. Uh, I'm going to oh, take the coaches. I agree. This is a hard game for me, Pat. Take because, the coaches. The coaches leans Rams. But it's... Who's a good team here? I think they're both good teams, actually. Well, then it's tough because it's two good teams with the backup quarterback. And you know I like supporting good teams in that first game with the backup. I am going to lean with Tim for as much as I was down on the Rams in the pre. Give me the Rams. But I want to... if. I'll be cheering for I, I'm not betting it, and I'm cheering for the CFL, bro. If uh, it comes to that, if the Rams win this game by a bunch, I think they bench Goff, who's terrible. No chance. Is Goff their quarterback next year? I d- would think no. I mean, he has to be because they pay him so much money. They're into him for so much money. Just, they just have to. like it'd be so much. I, I so think who's more likely to be the quarterback for their team in that division, Garoppolo or Goff? Goff. Goff is 100% their quarterback next year. That doesn't mean that he plays. If this other guy is better, they might just roll with him. Okay, yeah. Or they should do the thing that uh, Brian Brian Flores does. Like You you can almost tell how good Goff is going to be within 10 minutes of the game starting. Either he's really good that day or he's god-awful. That is so funny, but it's kind of true. Just send him out there and see how it's going. Uh, Vegas and Denver, no one cares. Uh, The line is two. Vegas is favored. I'll take Denver, Denver because of how Vegas lost last week. Their season, they're done. Fork. They've been playing bad football for a month. Ever since that near win against the Chiefs, they haven't played a good game since. They're done. And Denver's a home dog. It's kind of crazy. Well, because you look at the records, you see seven and eight versus whatever the heck Denver is, five and ten or whatever. What, what like, is oh, Denver's well, record? Set five and uh, five. Because the game I want, if the loser of the Chargers Denver game last week was set up to get the last place schedule, which it would have begins against the Jets and Jaguars next year. Are you worried? They are five and ten. They're five and ten. <laughs> so I was looking at the. You might even be the one who tweeted it out, like the quarterback rankings in the draft going into next year. So it's mm-hmm. Lawrence is number one, and then it's some Zach guy or something. Fields and and BYU Zach Wilson. So those two guys. And Den- then Trey Nance. Denver takes one of those two guys, right? There's, if it falls to them, and there, like one of those two guys is there, does Atlanta take a quarterback? I don't a third think, or fourth I don't overall. Think so. I think they should, but they probably won't. Someone could trade into the Jets at two because that's that's the money trade. The no, Jets. Okay, here's the thing: the Jets should just take a quarterback. <laughs> okay, that's that's agreed. Um, yeah, Denver. That's an interesting thing. Will they take the quarterback? Because they've I, announced Fangio's back. I, I would say that if they get a quarterback, and maybe he's not as good as Herbert was this year, but they could be a better coach mirror of what the Chargers are this year. 
Because they have, like, Cortland Sutton's going to be back. Like, they have good offensive pieces. The defense should be good with yeah, Von Miller back. Yeah. All of a sudden, you get a competent quarterback. Like, you'd be a pretty good team. And their offensive line yeah. had some horrible, like, preseason and early season injuries. Yeah, of course, because Tim fucking kept talking them up. And then, like, three <laughs> guys got hurt every week for them. <laughs> If the Chargers win and the Raiders lose, I think the Chargers get a second place schedule. Oh shit! Is that true? Maybe they both be seven and nine at that and I, point, and then, they both be three. Listen, and three in then I play the Dolphins next year. I know who my they quarterback's both, gonna be. Yeah, they both be I mean, three and three in division. They uh, the Raiders would be five and Tim seven. Tim is in right. Conference. I didn't think about this. The we Chargers would be six and six in conference. Schedule. So yeah, I, if I, the Chargers I, win and the Raiders lose, the Chargers should jump to the two spot. So that the gets me. Oh my god! Add me. Dolphins they get and you Baltimore Titan. or, or oh, Cleveland. Dolphins yeah. and Colts. Baltimore or Cleveland. Maybe Titans. Indianapolis maybe, maybe or, the Titans or the Colts. I don't know what division you play next year, but yeah. We play. I believe it's the AFC East. No, this year we played the whole East. Oh, yeah, that's right. And last year we played the whole um, North. So it's we're the auto south. playing the South. That's why south. I said. You get Rivers. So you get Tennessee and Indianapolis regardless. So you'll get ask, Cleveland is, or Baltimore, and you'll get more importantly, uh, Miami. Could be Rivers' last game ever this week. Doubt it. He'll just play till someone says there's no yeah, spot. For it's you, a, you're right? not allowed to play anymore. Yeah. Okay. I, I I see that. Do you think he would do a year as a backup? As like a backup, just to just keep in, just keep the like, just yeah. It's what I do. Yeah. I can see it because they'll, pay, they'll that, pay him like ten million dollars. Yeah, he's got on the that bench. high school coaching job. He's already I mean, signed up for. But but also, that like, I can't wait to go watch him. But is he on a two year deal or a one year deal? It was a one year, twenty five. Was it one plus one? I think it was just a one. So it wasn't 250. Put it this it was way. If you're any team that thinks you're going to be good this year, if the Cowboys just gave Dalton one year for seven to be the backup in case anything happened to deck. Didn't turn out to be, I mean, Dalton's fine, but yeah, the team yeah. just wasn't good. If you're, I don't know, a team with cap space, that's like a legit contender. And you could sign Rivers one year, 10 million to be your backup. Why wouldn't you do it as insurance? If you have the cap space. Yeah, if right. anything goes wrong, we got Rivers, who, a lot of sense. who would be the best backup in the league. Sure. Maybe. Denver. Like Houston? I don't, Denver I don't can know. sign him. And he can start until the new guy's ready. Maybe. And then Denver's coaching staff can punk. I would like to lung. see them make the playoffs. I picked Denver this week in that game. Yeah, all of us picked Denver, coin included. Yeah. Chargers and KC. The Chargers are favored by three and a half on the road. In Kansas City, 44 is the over-under. There's no word yet on whether or not the Chiefs are going to rest their guys. But yeah, there is. Isn't there? No, Reed said he's not sure yet. They're going to rest Oh, they're guys. resting they're, everybody. They're resting everyone. Do Although, you... they do have the bye, so maybe we do get a half at a Okay, Mahomes. the Chargers um, had to go to overtime once to beat, like, all backup Chase Daniel Chiefs to get into the playoffs. And lost. And then the next, we lost another one a couple years later. When we won, when we lost. They missed a buzzer beater to beat us with their backups, a kick. And then like two years later, we played them for a playoff spot without Alex Smith got hurt and we lost. I like Casey in this game to cover the three and a half. Oh, the they, Chargers are going to fucking steam them in. You said that last untrue. week against Denver and they won by a few. Yeah, but goal. they got their, the Chargers are lucky to win. The Chiefs are going to be playing nobody. This is going to, this could be a super lock. Okay. Andy Reid, do you know what? Andy Bolt Reed, up. Andy Reid cares so little about this game. He's literally going to take his week four preseason mentality to this game. They might use a backup kicker and they'll lose by three. I had the Chargers covered a game where they've been more than three point favorites this year. The Jaguars game. How much were they favored in that game? Like a touchdown they covered. So they covered that one. Is that the only one? Because I feel like every time. How many times have the they Jets? been more than a three-point favorite? I feel like they've the, been three. Against like, the Jets? They, they were three and a half last week. Did so they cover it against the Jets? No, the Jets backdoored it. Yeah. I feel like every time they've been a favorite of more than a field goal, they haven't covered, except for that Jags game. I'm trying to think of the incidences that that actually existed. I just feel like they play a lot of three-point games. Oh, that's all they do. So they're just, gonna. They're, this is gonna be a. Put it um, this way: they, they've played closer games uh, with worse teams than Kansas City backups. That's what I said to open the segment. But so there will be a three point game. I don't want to take three and a half. They're going, but this one will be different. This the Chiefs are so much. The Chiefs are like gonna be third stringing this thing, and I truly beat the Chief. Lynn keeps his job. What a win over the over the defending champs. Someday we'll have. No, they've made streak. the decision. To keep Anthony Lynn 
has no bearing on how they perform against third stringer Chiefs. Just like I would think beating hapless Denver and Oakland should really have no bearing on it, Pat. You um, won your over with me. I did. Oh, yeah. Thank you. So whatever. I'll, and just because of how aggressive that got, I'll be collecting, um, as I should. But I want to, oh, I was hoping this would be um, responded to, but it wouldn't have been. I, I sent a DM this morning. Can I have my money for the one and done? Uh, yeah, we'll figure all that out. So we push. The one, I think, no, because we had 200 on this okay, charge. So I, I owe you 100 bucks. So I, I went to the DMs this morning, um, right into uh, ownership. Okay. Last time I went into the DMs was uh, 7.03.20. I wrote, don't do it. <laughs> that, was, that was the day there were rumors we were going to sign Brady. That didn't get responded. Previously, the last other message was him thanking me. Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate the note and support of the Bolts. But today I wrote at 9.56 a.m., it's in the best long-term interest of the Chargers of Chargers football to replace Mr. Lynn. Well, he seems like a wonderful man. There's no way he's the best man for the job. Let's strive to be great. And I offer my recommendation of Brian Dable. We have hope, John. Don't take my hope by keeping Mr. Lynn around. You promised me to my face you would take care of me. Taking away my hope would be a, would be considered a breach of that promise. Hope you have a beautiful, healthy new year. All the best to you and those important to you in 2021 and beyond. Dude, how is that any different than when I write Diet Coke to ask them to discontinue the various flavors or write McDonald's to ask them to bring Because Smith I've food. actually been replied to. I Service would say me. I've been replied to by McDonald's. I would say that in fairness to Jeff, he is the only one at risk of a restraining order in these circumstances. <laughs> <laughs> he did say Mr. Lynn. He was being respectful. Oh, did you see that sidebar on this one that the reporter, someone called uh, uh, the Nick Saban Ms. thing? Hey Saban? Yeah, what it said they? Hey Saban. Or something. And like the guy like lost his mind, yeah, the, the reporter. The, 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 like, you don't call him, you call him Coach Saban. But in the guy's Twitter bio, it says Nick Saban. The best, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it sounds like the ultimate, if Tim was a reporter, this guy no, would be Tim. It literally reminds like golf, like Alabama media think they're like some old school golf media and someone just went into a, like a master's press conference and asked, asked someone tiger a question that old golf media found like unbecoming of life. Yeah. You hit and, and hey, and, Phil, you hitting bombs yeah. and like, <laughs> and, and Alabama, like the uppity proper, I guess they're, they're losing their minds I, about I, this. I, just reading some of the replies was amazing because most people are like, this is ludicrous. And then the people are like, I'm a hundred percent for this are all people like clearly have never like wearing Alabama yeah. hats. If you click on their profile, Alabama banners, it's clear they've never been outside their 20 mile. So rates. yeah, it, listen, I would now say it's 62%. Mr. Lynn stays. So it's 62%. Uh, my you have a 38% pompadour chance your hair is not staying. Your hair is staying. Gone. I kind of but even you, he did promise to take care of you, Jeff. He, he did promise, promise to take care this of you. This would be a breach. He got you the quarterback. You're right. But Pat, this would be a breach because this would just show that, like, um, decent, like, the ceiling for Lynn isn't good enough. It's not good enough. Even if he improves, it's just not good enough. There's an opportunity. There's an opportunity. And, and, and here's the scary part about it. Lynn would have one year left on his deal. Would have one year left. Extension. Do you know what they did last Get year? Get him some extensions. What? Get him an extension. Didn't they extend him on like Christmas Eve or they something last year? They extended him on New Year's Eve last year, the one year, because in proper NFL. You can't fire him on no, day of. I'm proper. I'm, uh, Send him tomorrow. Proper, Let's do it. Proper NFL. I'm pro Lynn. Proper NFL etiquette. You do not, even owners, even cheap owners, you would rather give your coach one more year than let him enter a year as a lame duck and let the locker room not respect him. That's the just Bengals like. Bengals did that to Marvin Lewis for like a decade. That's crazy. <laughs> They're the only ones. 
you know, Tim, what I'm saying is pretty much true. Yes, so the Chargers, the Chargers will not go into the year with Lynn on a on a one year deal. He's going to get extended if they don't fire him. I guarantee. Yeah, but it. but if he's bad next year, they could just fire. Him. I agree, but the concept of me having to read a headline that says extension is more than I'm going to be able to bear. There's an opportunity to strive for for greatness. Now, what if it says extension in the title, but it's like a d- situation? <laughs> oh God, <laughs> that's terrible. In closing, it would just... I am crazy, the end. You know, <laughs> everything anyone has ever said about the Chargers and the organization would feel so much more true that, that what's important isn't important. Um, but I believe they will see through this. I believe there is such big business at hand here. And I believe cheap... Look, the Tennessee Titans, that Adams family is as cheap as fucking anybody. Do, 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 they fired Malarkey do, 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 after do, do, do. winning a playoff game or going to the playoffs. Yeah, he was fucking full of Malarkey, though. <laughs> He's fucking Biden's boy. I, I, there's se- the dis- sad. He's coming back. He's coming back, Jeff. He's no coming back. No, d- and no if he comes- Okay, what if, what if they replace Lynn, but Trump is your head coach? <laughs> And maybe they could promote Lynn to just like office Herm Edwards without Sunday. They just basically give him a, a they give him an office with no windows and his like phone doesn't dial out is what you want. <laughs> if he does And he can show up to like the hospital to visit sick kids, because that's he where he's does better suited. Stay, if he is staying, you better fucking send sign him up for some NASA course like he better spend his entire off season doing simulations okay oh he could be like mike mccarthy and be like yeah i know all about the pro football focus <laughs> trust me it's very good i'm telling you just get trump as your coach because be i'm fun. prepared I, like because there's an excuse for fucking everything there's an excuse Der, this, they went seven and nine derwin didn't take a snap the covid year like we gotta just see no, we, streak. we've seen. Herbert seemed to thrive under his leadership, Do you despite th- the criticism. They, oh, we don't want to change the continuity for the rookie. Well, let me ask you, how many games in a row would they win if they win this game? Five? Four? Four. Will that slingshot them into next year? Much like the Jets three-game winning okay. streak? I'll have to own I this. can't promise that I won't get excited no. about them next season. I have to be honest. This That's is not a, good news. This is a double-edged sword. Like, once they lost the right to sort of be a top six draft pick, to me... It's no different now. Being like eight or 14, it's kind of the same. Like, you know, as Tim would say, good players come to 11. And I do. I do. um, Because the year was a struggle and it was hurting and, and, and your words were biting. It is nice that, like, even though the wins haven't been pretty, it's been three straight. Herbert leading them to a victory on the final possession. And um, they're going to play the Chiefs this week, which I fully expect to win to make that four in a row to have won two more games slingshot into next to have year. won two more games than they did last year, which you made it as a important thing. Like, they, how could he win any awards? They're literally not even better than last year. Well, now they're now better. They are. Now they're better than last year. He can get some wins and some confidence. I know early as I wanted some team was like, no, you've got to win some games late. Um, for the kid, as Tim I would think this say, is great for him. To, if Tim was a Charger fan, what sort of rocket ship slingshot would he be predicting for us? Well, Herbert running? needs to win this game to make sure that Herbert and Burrow have more combined wins than Tua. <laughs> I, you're you're right. You're you're not wrong. Well, Tua um, and Jordan Love combined. I wonder how cool Anthony Lynn wants to be. I think Herbert needs like three thirty to pass Andrew Luck's yard number. You got to go for it. Although he might not know what numbers might are. not. And honestly, He'll probably, like try to play Tyrod. <laughs> someone was showing me the, the touchdowns per game for the chargers. Since Eckler's come back, it's actually gone down drastically. Cause it's like Lynn has his running back back. So now we got to just run, run, run. Yeah, But th- then they just give it to Balazs inside the five yard line. He doesn't get in. And my favorite play from Sunday, which was orgasmic fourth and eight near midfield. Lynn went for it, which was crazy enough. Let me finish. Herbert 
reads the pocket, nothing there, avoids Roll pressure, the rolls. That is something that like I loved Philip Rivers, maybe overly, maybe too much. I see shit like that, and this will go back full stream. We've been a long show, but I'll give you a bang here. The year started with this guy dating my mom and me not being sure and excited he's coming over. Well, guess what? It's week 17, Pat, and Justin's Woody Allen and I'm Sung Yi. <laughs> Jesus oh my Christ. God. <laughs> That's where we are. We gotta bleep that, don't we? I don't know. Do we have to bleep that? <laughs> the beat, the, the beat is over. It. The bit That's is over. Okay, well, the, those the who understand over. it. <laughs> the bit's retired. That's where it ends because we're together now. We're together and now. And we don't care what you think. <laughs> the bit is Society over. be damned. <laughs> That's where that is. It's legal wow. in the Philippines, Tim. <laughs> Let's go on to the next game. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's another game. <laughs> Let's go. So we'll end there. The bit's over. That bit is never returning. Washington at Philly. Washington wins, and they're in. However, they're point and a half underdogs on the road in Philly. 42 is the over-under. Oh, they're What's they're that? Favored by two. They're favored by oh, one. Sorry, they're favored by one and a half. That's my bad. Uh, it looks like Alex Smith. We'll be back for this game. If not, it's Haneke, Heineke, whatever the hell his name He's is. From the Seattle, the St. Louis Thunderhawks. He was good on. He was good week seventeen for Carolina last year. He was actually good in that game last week. Yeah, why not? He actually throws the ball down yeah. the field. It's it's shocking. There was only one dropped interception when he was in the game. Uh, but also, that dropped interception <laughs> wouldn't have happened if Cam the Sims would have caught that bomb on yes, the one yard line. So true. you know, drops go around on both sides. I think Washington wins this game, and I think Washington beats Tampa Bay next week in the playoffs. They are perfectly are they, set up to beat Tampa Bay. Are you going to pick a, whoever Tampa plays? Because it seems yes. like you're setting up, you're taking no, home it, points. I, I, I think that Dallas gets slaughtered by Tampa but Bay. But Giants and I think Giants Washington and Washington, point, plus the points, give them to me. I may even bet them out right on the money line. Because of those front lines. Yeah. Get Brady off his spot and see how good that offense is. I don't know. You give Hurts an opportunity in prime time for the first time with a huge audience, I, and I think he plays marvelously. I like uh, Philadelphia here. I, I'm with Tim. Are we getting Fletcher Cox back? I don't know. I'm, I'm picking the Eagles to spoil, to play spoiler. Here's the difference. And I've been saying it. I think I said it in week one. I may have even said it in the preseason when I picked their over. The footballs have the best unit in this division. And it's that front seven. Amazing. And can Philly block? No. Can Jalen Hurts outrun everyone? No. Because it's not even like they have to blitz to get pressure. They don't. Mm -hmm. And that, when I was looking at the teams, I've been trying to figure out who's going to beat the Chiefs, if anyone's going to beat the Chiefs. And it has to be a team like the Giants team that beat the 16-0 and Patriots. That if you can't get pressure with your front four, you're absolutely fucked. You're going to lose the game. Who can do that in the AFC? With their front four? Yeah. Maybe the Colts? The Colts have to be Buckner and um, someone else there. Pittsburgh at full strength yes. would be able to do it. Miami, no. I feel like they blitz a lot. Maybe I'm wrong on that. Baltimore at full strength has it, but I don't think they're going to be at full strength ever. Pittsburgh can't Cle get to if, full. Uh, the, yeah. If Pittsburgh Garrett can't get and the guy, Ver Vernon Carey, ever play to his potential, they could be pretty good. Yeah, if bad players were good, some of these players would be uh, better. Chase yeah, Young. In a, world where, in a world where Cleveland can run the ball a thousand times and be effective, because the Chiefs and I haven't got a great Chase run Young's defense. dominant. That's actually, a, that's actually a weird matchup for the Chiefs, if the Browns could somehow play them. Because, yeah, the Chiefs can't stop the run. So I No, and you would be able to keep Mahomes the off the field. And sort of, yeah, but the Titans don't generate any pressure. No, not Fair. Like, even good, if the Titans yeah. got up by 35, I'd probably live bet the Chiefs. <laughs> Um, uh, Chase Young's rookie season edge rushing numbers come between the Bosa brothers um, in modern history for dominance. So. Well, I feel like that's going to be a problem for Jalen Hurts, who I'm thinking if does he start next year? He has to, right? It's not like they can get rid of Wentz. They'll, go both. Be they'll probably next. they'll probably trade him to the Jets for the second overall pick. That's where the second pick is going to. Wouldn't it to yeah, Wentz? Definitely. Wouldn't it be funny yeah, if 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 McVay wanted Wentz and they went one two Goff and Wentz in the same draft? I would take Wentz still over Goff. I agree. I don't. Know, I agree too. And Wentz I, is trying to do too much. I just think he's. Foles coming in and winning that Super Bowl kind of fucked him. <laughs> oh, you'd say. And the wrong city I mean, to have it happen. If I'm co it, like, it's the obvious one, but if you're Frank Reich and you had the best season you could ever get out of Wentz and you need a quarterback, 
Why wouldn't he be a perfect fit in Indianapolis? I think he he's be. too expensive. Is the problem? It's a lot like the golf thing that it's hard. The Colts to get... have a ton. Yeah, but it's of but it's, but you it's don't need to spend Philly that sort of money. can't get out of it yet. That's the problem. I was even listening to some NFL radio. Everyone seems convinced that Wentz will one hundred percent be an Eagle next year, and maybe this is something for beyond that. It's it, it would be really hard to get out of it. The same way even the Stafford rumors happened last year, but it was like no, the this year they can get out of it. Structured in a way where it's impossible. But next year, that door is wide open. Like I think that the Colts are more likely to trade for Stafford or Ryan rather than Wentz, just because the contracts are shorter. Yeah, maybe. Anyone else? Watson. I, for whatever reason, I don't think that Watson's going to be in Houston next year. I think they're I, a stupid franchise, and they'll somehow get rid of him. That's like saying that, like, what, the Chargers are going to trade Herbert? I, I don't think it's the same thing. Because Watson's been there for a while. Well, Watson's now. already gotten a $100 million contract, so it's kind of different. Tim, would you trade the second overall pick for Deshaun? Of course. Would you, trade the, second, would and you, I, would you trade the second pick this year and another They drafted first Jamal Adams over Deshaun, didn't they? I yeah, think. we're we're dumb. Although we did get two first for him, so it's not like it was No, a I'm just saying they could have. I mean, that, there was. But that was the year after Darnold, right? The year before. Oh. Could add Mahomes, too. Yeah. Thanks. I put I less stock on on giving teams a hard time about Mahomes rather than Watson. Yeah, Watson was like the guy we kind of saw do it at a. There were unfair questions about Mahomes. You should have just believed the ceiling on tape, but no one was really talking about Mahomes as being a top eight. No, pick. nobody. Yeah. Well, who is the guy in the draft this year? Because I feel like Herbert was kind of that guy this year, where if you Kid saw from BYU, if you only saw the good plays he made, you're like, this guy is fucking awesome. But if you saw the yeah, bad plays, you'd be like, Zach, Ugh. Zach Wilson, or probably. But, but it seems like all the guys who have had the ceiling, like, like holy shit, this guy looks good, have been really good recently, like, like Josh Allen. Yeah, like because Darnold is exactly who he was in college. You exactly. are right about that. <laughs> and a lot of coaches or scouts guys got to be like, no, I see ceiling, and now I got to bring him into my structure. And Andy Reid will take away the floor. The, the floor will raise the floor yeah, and keep the ceiling. And keep the ceiling. I will work with him to get that ceiling and and fine tune the ugly. That is sort of where the pro mind scouting organizations are right now. I see a ceiling. That's what I got to develop on. But then you hear the stories that came out on the weekend. Like coaches in Washington, like wanted to barf in the draft room, and Daniel Snyder demanded they draft Haskins. It seems like everyone hated Haskins. Right, it's not even that same range. I mean, I I read it last week, and I totally forgot about it. That Washington hasn't had a GM this year. Yeah, well, no. they got rid of their president too, and Bruce Allen, who might have. Uh, I, yep, I they did. Uh, so I mean, listen, Ron Rivera is a good coach. And this defense is good. At least the front seven is good. The back end is not so great. But Alex Smith makes them wildly competitive. Alex Smith starts in this game. I think they're going to win. And I think that he <coughs> causes real problems. He can he just does it. He's not great, but he's exactly what this team kind of needs. Like they needed a grown up head coach who has actual leadership. They got that this year. And they needed a quarterback who's like a veteran who's a leader that they can kind of believe. They took in. a step forward this year, but I think in the end, Philly will get him. I, I don't think it's funny because I don't think the success necessarily translates into next year. Like I don't know how much better that they get unless they can find like a real quarterback to up a level. But I think as they're currently constructed, they're just going to win games like tw- unless you think Hertz goes off in this game. Now, after the first two drives last week against Dallas, a really shitty defense, Hertz was garbage. I get it. I know what you're saying, but I just. I just have a, a gut feeling that Washington's inability to produce points. We saw that even in games that they won, uh, their inability to produce points is going to is going to be their ultimate significant downfall. Obviously, and I kind of think it'll be this week. Yeah, but if and they I hope so for, for for the NFL's sake, I'd far rather see Tampa uh, Dallas than Tampa Washington. So, well, the NFL as a football fan, I'm cheering for. I, as a football fan, I would like. To, I think Washington can give Tampa a fight because of the things that they do well causes problems for Tampa Bay, and I just think that Dallas is like the shittier version of Tampa Bay. Like, where is Dallas better than Tampa on the field? It's hard to say where they are better. Like, Running back, linebacker, maybe. I mean, but isn't Van Der Esch out? I don't know. Smith I mean, and Van Der Esch healthy. 
But don't say, don't the Bucks have like the, the whole o lines? Don't kind of the Bucks right? have the best linebackers in football? Yeah, David. Yeah. <laughs> Like even, even, know. even I, like I don't know. the most like generally you'd say that Dallas outclasses everyone at receiver, but they don't outclass right. the box. And even offensive line, they used to do that, but the box have a stud at left tackle and, Martin, and they've been and Martin's good not play, coming back yeah, and gotten good play elsewhere. It's just a really I feel like it's a really bad match. That might be the bet of the first round. Because people will talk like like you said, I it looks like I'm prone to taking either the Giants or Washington if they play Tampa in the first round. And I am. But I think enough people will look back at the first round, like, shitty team that gets in and how they just randomly seem to win all of these games. Uh, But if it's Dallas, I think betting against Dallas, no matter what the number is, is the move, if it's Tampa Bay. But it could be the Rams. Uh, It could be if the Rams win, yeah. So you two are taking Philly. The coin and I are taking Washington. It was a long one, but people, you know, don't actually want to work on Christmas Eve. So they can listen to it on you know, today or tomorrow or on the first or so whenever. How many wild and it's the, it's card the wrap games. up of the long season. How many six games next week? Correct. Yeah. Six. It's nice. I like it. Three. So what? Like a th- Saturday is going to be what? Like three, two, five and nine. And then the same on Sunday. Yeah. Two, but, five but, and nine. We're going to start a game at nine in his time. Oh, <laughs> eight. So one, four and eight. Yeah. One, four, 30. And but eight. only half the games are exclusively on Amazon Prime. All right, all right, behave yourself. And the Sunday times aren't the same as Saturday times, are they? Saturday they usually go, or maybe they will. Usually yes. they do the, the the late afternoon and night on Saturday, and then the early yes, and then the exactly. late. Afternoon. But now they have. But to because there's the six. Same. Now I don't know. Come divisional weekend, whether it be back to the traditional four that we know. Times will be fun week. this weekend. Draft game, yeah. Well, draft or next next week. Yeah, draft well, is going to be sloppy because the no names. The but guys have, that are super 15, cheap that are going to get 30 carries. But you have 15 games on the slate, too. Oh, one thing I want to say about Hurts. If he starts at quarterback next year, he's like a top five fantasy quarterback. He was bad I last can, week and scored 20 points. Yeah. <laughs> I saw Evans I getting it. into, like, Cowboy fans are, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Like, like, no, he actually got 24 and a half points, and he had, like, one and a half good quarters. <laughs> but he's just, it's a lot like... I think Josh Allen's going to end up being the highest scoring running or quarterback. Yeah, last there. year he was he was really good. Yeah, but he's going to be number, he was he's going to end up being number one. Kyler could pass him with a really big game, but like if you don't run, you don't use that game. Like Rogers, the only one who's kind of putting up, but he's not even in the stratosphere of these guys for fantasy points because they all run. Mahomes doesn't run a ton. Mahomes runs more than you think. Well, yes, but he doesn't run to the degree that those other Mahomes, runs. No, but he also throws for more passing Mahomes yards. usually waits for oh, the second correct. half to run. He doesn't like, I don't know. He's like, he's like old Rodgers in that sense, where yeah. Rodgers and Russell Wilson at this point, too. Yeah. Where if it's imperative that they run, I'll they run. I'll run and I'll get it, but yeah, we're just going to do that later. But or, I, would, I would bet Mahomes is averaging like 24 rushing yards a game, something like that. Mahomes fair enough. I, I believe you. Hit that first touchdown in the Super Bowl last year, like 16 or 18. Sure did. Super locks for the week. Tim, I you like a lot of games. Tim, you won last week. You were the only one to get it correct. You're six and ten. You need a win to best me if I lose my game because I had one that got taken off the board. So let's hear it. Who you got? Green Bay. I feel like that's going to be everyone's favorite game this week. I am kind of worried about. I it. am, and the five, the, f- the, the five, books such a don't weird even. Number. We would lay a six and a half, a flirt with seven. This Rogers love affair. The Chicago going to meet its maker shit. Five. Yeah, well, I'm square. I'm going to take the No, I'm I know with you. I'm not super locking it, but the five scares the shit out of me as much as anything. That's like the books. I'm going to take the games that I have cut it down to. The New York Giants, the Green Bay Packers, but Tim took them, so they're done. Um, the Houston Texans. Well, I'll help you out here. I'm taking the Giants plus three. I like Seattle. Training him, the Chargers. Let's do it. Chargers minus three and a half. These nobodies, we're going to get Herbert some stats just to pad them. Tim, you are three and 15 on your teasers and money line parlays. You have a money line parlay this week, and it seems like it's Dallas, the Jets, Green Bay, and New Orleans. Dallas, Green Bay, the Jets, and New Orleans plus uh, 645. Really? Yep. What does that pay without the Jets on it? Uh, I'll take a look. If you take the Jets off, you're getting two to one on your money. So it really does pay to put the Jets on there. 
or you just bet the Jets by themselves, or you bet Dallas yeah, and the Jets. Well, I'm, by I'm trying to make up here some lost units. I can basically get myself to basically even for the year. Well, it, would, it wouldn't be basically even. You'd be down, I think, four? Two units or three units or whatever. Three I'll take it. Units. I, I know that uh, people in the space who sell picks enjoy to use the term units. I think it is the fucking most Bush League thing of all time. Oh, well, yeah, you how, can how say many, dollars. How many units are you betting on this? Like, fuck off. You could say widgets. I mean, you can say dollars, but those people just don't want to say. I mean, the reason they're using it is because everybody has a different threshold of how much money they can afford to win or lose. No, I, I understand that. What is the standard bet for you would be your unit. It, it just, I find it a very pretentious way of talking about gambling. I, I get you. Because I, 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 I don't it. know a single person who gambles who has a standard bet on anything. I just don't. Do you? Well, doesn't Pizzola have a pretty much a standard? No, he, he, if, there's, if there is something that shows him that it is. Like there are certain things like that he's he going to bet on. He shows me what he's betting because I'll ask him. I'll text him on a Saturday night. Can I have your sides for tomorrow? And the bet games are all different wager numbers. Yeah, just by whatever the algorithm spits out yeah. to tell him how big of an advantage it is in this certain game. Okay, now maybe he enough. has a standard for what each individual and thing Pizzola, is. Most people who bet be like, I'll put a hundred bucks on that. If they win two of the hundred bucks in a row, fuck, I'll put two hundred yeah, bucks yeah. on that. That's how people bet. That's why they lose. Just when you just said I'm chasing to get back to even. That's how people lose. And everyone is guilty of it. I'm sure that you and, I, you and I very much so in that circumstance. Got to press. Oh, yeah, no, nothing, yeah, I enjoy, press. nothing I enjoy more than riding a heater and pressing it and losing all my money. Yeah, 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 I'm sure everyone's been down that road. The one thing I am pretty good at, though, is because golf is such an animal that I know like winning a tournament in the row, I'm not really trying to like double my bets the next week. Exactly. I'm actually more aware like winning two in a row is so much more unlikely it's not quite betting the 50-50 game after a hot NFL week that I would like. No, let's let's go. Different animal. Um, yeah, I totally agree with you. So that was the regular season. That was it. What a year. Six that games has been a fun year. and bring your clippers. And this show finally was the highest rated football show video-wise that we did last week. First time all year. When everyone gets oh, out of fantasy great. football... The gambling show just vaults right up. <laughs> but we kept, like, the, the this show keeps its audience all year long. That's why it's the flag sheet. It's not for the Johnny-come-latelys, put it that way. No. It's too insular. There's too much inside baseball. A lot of inside baseball. and You I could do- start at the start of every year. You could start at the beginning of any year you wanted. I you do can't feel jump like in in if November. you jump in and you're willing to hold on for a little, everything will come full circle rather quickly. Oh yes, uh, it's the same. But you got it's just, the same stuff every week. Yeah. <laughs> but I just enjoy the people who I I get messages from or emails from. You guys do not talk about the games enough and do not make the picks enough. You should check out this guy. He makes his picks in five minutes. Like this is not the point of the. But I'll show. tell you this, folks: if you have start sit questions for, que- for week seventeen, t- uh, tweet Pat, oh, God. email him. He'd love <laughs> to. God. He'd love you to ask. Do I start Mason Rudolph or do I start uh, this Wolford fellow? Uh, if for my fantasy Super Bowl. Don't be afraid to ask him. He loves those Week 17 questions. <laughs> now, everyone knows the standing rule that I have about Week 17 questions. Now, DraftKings questions are a bit different because I'm still doing a yes, DraftKings show. But if it's like a general start-sit question for your season-long fantasy league, I don't block anyone except for people. Well, bots I block, um, like porn bots. You don't see very many of those on Twitter. Got, anymore, lost though. a lot of them. Twitter, I guess, purged. That makes sense. There was a big purge. Because they used to like, tweet at me and be like, oh, this is just a porn account. Let's block this one so they stop tweeting at me. But people who put week 17 start sick questions at me, I block. Can't, can't be having that. Tweet them to Tim. He'll guess. <laughs> I will guess. I cannot. We need to normalize no week 17 for fantasy. On Monday, we'll probably know if Lynn has his job or not when we record our tournament of championship. Golf back next week. So it's going to be this like day we can like joke about it before we bring the Clippers in for the wild card weekend show. That's true. All right. Golf's back. Yeah. Happy New Year's, everybody. Yes. Golf is back next week playing the world or the fantasy golf championship at fantasygolfchampionships.com hundred dollars to play five max entry it's already half full halfway there starts at the sony open in two weeks i feel like it's a lot of people for it not even being the new year yet i think we're, we're gonna fill it people are gonna like want I mean, we haven't even done any golf shows yet yeah it's like the late surge 
Yeah, but if if you're waiting on the late surge to get you're, in, you're, you're gonna miss. You're out. gonna miss out. This is gonna be filled by Friday next week, I think. I yeah, once you do the once show, do and the then show. you do your full slate of golf shows with the guys. Yeah. So if we've learned anything from the show today, it's what Chromecast and jailbreaking is for your phone. <laughs> Check out Cuss Corner from Christmas. It was fun. <laughs> Not bad, says Pat's wife. <laughs> I'll take it. It's the highest compliment we can have. High praise. For Jeff Feinberg, Paul Shaughnessy, I'm Pat Mayo, and that on the line was Tim Undergust. Tim Undergust. That's uh, not my name. And we'll see you next time. Pat Mayo Experience! Experience!